Admiral Joy. Get something to drink. Okay, so there's a lot of admin work I need to do. Um First, I need to get something to drink overall. Because, yeah, if I'm streaming for a while, I actually need to stay hydrated. Oh, is that thing How long is that gonna take? Ah, it's fine. It'll be like two minutes. Alright, so we were in endgame, but it seems like we missed a lot. Sucking duck, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing good. Okay, so it seems like we missed a lot. So going back and we're going to traverse every single area of the game. Just give me Oh baby give me one more chance Just give me a second to Uh okay so audio Check Uh water I beg of you I beg in you to give me like a roughly two, two to three minutes to just go grab something to drink. You need to stay hydrated. Because hydration is important. Returned from my journey, I have something to drink. I'm stressed out as fuck right now, but I thought I could hop on. What's going on? You good, bro? Are you comfortable to talk about it, or is it like something you'd like to keep keep to yourself off public record? I don't say public record, but like off stream and shit.
It's all good. Don't want to dump that shit on you. Hey, man, then I, 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 I totally get it. Sometimes life be rough. I really get that. Okay, so what else am I missing? Don't want to bring down the stream. I mean, it's still in the beginning of the stream. We haven't even done anything yet, so the, the stream could pick up. Who is this? Oh, it's Oliver Queen. Okay, that's it. Let us now fix it. Oh, we gained a subscriber. When was this? Two hours ago. It must have happened within the recent two hours. I'm not gonna lie. Again. As much as I appreciate gaining subscribers, like, I'm not gonna fight against it. I love it. When it happens, I love it. Mwah, beautiful, thank you. But where the fuck did you come from? <laughs> that is something that'll always baffle me. Just randomly chilling. I'll get a subscription. From who? From where? You didn't show up on stream. Was it one of my videos? Are you going to show up on stream? I'm confused. The seven hour live stream got demonetized. To be fair... To be fair, I ain't even mad. Of course I'm gonna appeal the demonetization, but I ain't even mad. Solely because I was talking a lot of shit. Um, especially when I was dying, damn. I was frustrated and I was talking some, 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 some crazy shit. So I'm not against it. But I do hope that regardless of that, they decide to remonetize that live stream because yeah they they should understand the frustration i was feeling as for a subscriber count when did i gain the 110 one so of course it happened today but it's not gonna tell me when hmm. and it's not even gonna tell me which video caused it so i just have to feel in the ether that oh the subscriber came from from this location now i don't know even though this is a situation i don't know if it's safe enough to say i'm at 1.7k subscribers yet because now it's like 1710 great but as much as fast as i gain those subscribers i could lose them so i don't even want to jinx it and say like oh yeah we're at 1.7k maybe when i'm better like one point one thousand seven hundred and twenty-five. Then I'll be like, okay, we're at, we're finding at one point seven k. But yeah, I'll message you on PlayStation to let you know what happened. Uh, you could say your thoughts. I don't mind. That's all. Yeah, sure. You can go ahead and tell me that, and then I won't expose any of the information that you told me. But I will give my thoughts out loud. Uh, da, da, da. Let's see.
Is that all the adminship done on my live stream? Yep. So that's everything there. Am I missing anything? Mentally, am I missing anything? No, I have my water. Everything for the live stream has been done. Um... Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Great. Now, something I remember from the previous live stream. Lil Tay. Remember, I remember we discussed the fact that she had passed away. Uh, apparently, no, she didn't. And a lot of people were led to believe that she had passed away. A lot of people actually do think that she is, what, faking it? To promote an NFT? Because apparently, the same day she revealed that, oh, I'm actually alive, is the same day, apparently, like, a Lil Tay NFT token had finally gone up in the air. So, people don't know if it was to promote that horrible promotion. But, hey. At least she's still alive. That's a good thing. Okay, okay, now I see, I see, I see. Would it be strange for me to say, this situation is not foreign to me. What you're going through right now is something that is not foreign to me either. Either. Either? Either. But I totally understand what you're going through. But damn. To take that route though, mm. must have really affected him. I can totally understand why you're in a down mood. Wh when did you find out about this information? Was it like uh, a recent thing? Did you get like the information this morning from family member, etc., etc.? Like, what happened there? Dash. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. The entire concept or the entire situation is not foreign to me. It is something I've seen before. Um, I've also had uh, close ones. Why did I say it like that? I've had close ones also, uh, you know, pass away due to unforeseen circumstances. So... I definitely do have my sympathies out to you for that situation. Although, as I, I will say though, throughout this entire situation, bro, don't, don't um... Don't get any funny ideas yourself, right? One, and then two. Also, don't don't take it too hard on yourself. 
found out an hour ago. Damn. So it's still fresh, fresh information. Ooh. He found him because his mom wasn't answering the calls. Hmm, okay, okay, I see. But getting this news an hour ago is really tough too. It's gone for a while. Okay. <clears throat> I am curious in this situation, like, does that mean the ex also knew? Did the English, does the ex also know about this information? If so... Because you know the reason behind it. Does she? Loved him like a brother, she didn't give a fuck. Hmm. Oop, that was a mistake. Hmm. That really is an unfortunate, uh... It's an unfortunate situation for it to occur. Was it just like an, a normal breakup or was it like a cheating thing or... Like, since you clearly know... Well, it seems like you know a lot about uh, this, the circumstances. to fly home and punch her. Oh, I repeat her to that dog. I think it's best to resort to violence when it comes to uh, a situation like this. I think like all things in life, it has to be a learning experience, but it's very hard to find something to learn from a situation like this. So... I can understand where... I can understand the frustrations too. It's not like I'm immediately saying, Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like, shut away all those emotions. Yeah, it's okay, it's healthy to feel those emotions. Just don't act out on them, you know? Especially if the violent ones, just... Rather not do those ones. The fire shrine is still here? What? Oh, they took me to the real location of the... Okay... Okay... This is magic damage. I don't know what magic damage would do against... Skull ring? Easier to be detected by enemies. Why? Who would want something like that? For what purpose?
Oh, it's 3,000. This boy was a straight shooter, never trapped. Got the hood. I understand. Again, I, I completely understand the, where the frustration is coming from. I will still say violence is not an answer. All the emotions you feel, 100% justified. Again, violence is not the answer. I do not think it's the answer. Nor is it the solution. Because I know some people get cheeky and say and respond like that. It's not the answer, but it's the solution. Yeah, it's neither. Ashen one, for the lords of Cinder, for the Ashen prisoners, for all those held to preserve the fire. Link the first flame. Ashen one. There we go. Oh, fuck. I don't get people who be sent seven minute voice notes. Seven minute oh, are people insane. It's not even seven, it's an eight minute voice note. Actually, hold on. I don't like this. Something's oddly suspicious. Let me... strange when you don't communicate with your family at all you don't have any ties to your family then all of a sudden your family is all hitting you up at once for what purpose this is suspicious Uh, okay, hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. Woo. Ooh, that hit different. Mm, mm, mm. Something in that sneeze felt like I was expelling demons. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Whatever's whatever this family is trying to do, 
I rebuke it. It's too suspicious. Uh. Okay. Two locations I can explore. Wait, is that dragon still there? It's dead! Wait, no, that's not the right dragon. Okay. Let's go through an easier area. Born from Miller Brain. Visions of Demise Oh, okay Okay, at least it's one tap. I want to explore. I feel like there's areas I should have. I've already explored. Sorry, I might have to take a minute. Hey, man, there's no, there's no stress. If you really need to take a break, go ahead and do so. So it seems like they drop something if you kill them while they're in their big form. Noted. Oh, I thought this was an item, it's just a helmet. No shortcuts, I have to take every route authentically so I can find all the new routes that I apparently I'm missing. Cause like it's not even like I'm trying to do all the side quests. Actually I might even try to just platinum this game. I think it's possible. Okay, yeah, so this is not the area with the live drop. Huh? It's not the area with the live dragon.
I need to go kill that dragon. Oh yeah, apparently there's a dragon boss in this game as well. I don't know who to talk to, man. I'll stop talking about the suppressing shit on stream, my fault. Hey man, I understand the, what's this, the situation. Also not having anybody to talk to. I think first what you need to do is you need to actually process the situation. Process the emotions. And then you can find somebody to talk to once you've calmed down more emotionally. The dragon's gone. So right now it seems like what you need to do is you just need to take some time to yourself. To actually let the situation, you know? Why does that look like a hole I can jump into? Okay, never mind. Wait, what is where does that go? Ugh, I'll, I'll I'll go there. I'll go there. I'll go there. Be nice if How did I miss this this mimic chest so early on in the game? You know one I was gonna say if I find a mimic chest I might actually just whoa 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 I was gonna say just just for the fun of it I was gonna let one mimic chest grab me but seeing how much damage that, ooh, see how much damage that grab did. I don't know about that anymore. I've seen some shit on the streets from you have trapping, juvie prison, but this shit hit different. Which again makes sense, right? You can see some crazy shit, but when it hits home, it hits the hardest. People jump out of here. Oh, okay. I have one new follower. Thank you very much. I don't know if they're watching stream or if they're able to watch it. It's probably how they're following, right? Yeah. Rest of the bonfire. Ooh, shit, my nose. 
You know, sickness is such a foreign thing. I don't think I've ever seen... I could be wrong. Enemy ahead. How the hell did you get up? Okay. So... I don't think I've ever seen an animal sick. Maybe I just haven't been around pets that long. But... I... I don't think I've ever seen an animal sick. Or if they are, it's like... It's like sick that needs to go to the vet, but I've never seen an animal with the flu. I've seen a dog sneeze, but I don't think that counts as the, the flu. Sounds like such a cute concept too. Just like a sick animal. Cause I doubt you have to treat them the way you treat anything else. Wow, this person really sent me an 8 minute voice note about how she doesn't like mama's boys. What does that have to do with me? God damn. Alright, hold on. Uh... Hmm. Hmm, this is suspicious. Mm -mm, I don't like this. Okay. How am I gonna fight? It seems like there's a lot of bosses, early game bosses. Or just bosses in general that I've missed. Apparently like there's two dragons I haven't fought. There's uh, what's the name of that one boss? Apparently, the, the one that everybody talks about is difficult as shit. The Nameless King! Okay. Time to resort to what I know best. Google. Let's turn this shit into Google Souls. What's the name of this place again? High Lothric Wall? High Lothric Wall. Locked. Gate. Cell key. Wait, what? I don't want to have to watch videos while live streaming about where to find all these items. Can these items please be short? Like... Or can these videos at least be short? Like 2 minutes, 3 minutes, sure. And then I'll play on 1 times 1.5 speed. Or times 2 speed, actually, because it's not like anything else is new. All right, give me a second. Um... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How the hell did I miss this? You see, this is what happens when, the, like, an area is so swarmed with NPCs. The area is so swarmed with NPCs that I just did not notice. I completely ignored the area. So the key for this is in this area, and I, I just, I guess I missed it. Wow, okay. So there's two dragons I need to fight. Two dragons, the Nameless King, Dragon Eater Medir. Or is it Dark Eater Medir? Is Dark Eater Medir even in this game? I think so? Question mark? I've heard of Dark Eater Medir. 
But I don't know if it's part of this game. Alright, do your little transformation thing, yeah. Whoa. Do you drop anything? Nope. Okay, I thought they dropped things when you kill them in their transformed state. Like maybe they drop a shard, or they drop some items, a weapon, etc, etc. But I guess that's not the case. So that means I just need to go through the effort of making sure they don't transform. gem it's good to know that if you decide to go back on this tr tri tongue oh okay i see why okay souls fans how about you just catch flame it's such a useless spell unless you're fighting with ice then it feels like the most overpowered spell you could have. Ow. Just the ability to randomly spark fire from your hand. It does a lot. Ooh, it does a lot for you. Like that. Resets frostbite. Sometimes it staggers. It can be useful, that is for sure. But it's another reason why I really need to explore these areas is so I can get a Titanite slab. Frog wall ahead. How did I miss this? Okay, hold on. My goodness. I was so focused in the, in the now, in what was in front of me, that I really did not look around. I feel embarrassed. Hold on, it sneezes a come. Hey, <coughs> Woo, excuse me. Thank you. Look carefully. All the more joy. Huh? That's what they meant by look carefully. Okay. Like what? Do they expect me to be analyzing the intricate details of my surroundings now? An Estus shard. How the hell did I not get this Estus shard? I've been into I've been into this area like three, four times, and not a single time did I get the shard. I appreciate the more heals though. It's gonna be useful. Okay, that was not fair. That is because I thrust it. Actually, now that I think about it, what is more powerful? Piercing damage or. I think piercing damage is more dangerous, right? No. Because there's a lot of NPCs in this game that are just immune to thrust damage. What the hell was that? Oh, it was a dog. I thought I was seeing things.
All right. All right. Ow. I thought you were going to do a lot more damage. I got so used to this NPC just absolutely blowing my shit that now I'm just like, oh, okay. And I thought this was an NPC you could agitate. Like, I thought it was like idle until you pissed it off. Maybe you accidentally hit it. And then it triggers itself, it wakes up, starts attacking you. Seems like that's not the case. I really have to analyze my surroundings now. Because it seems like I don't know shit. Hello. Standard bolt. Alright. Alright, there's nothing on the rooftop. I've already examined this area. Let me just keep exploring. Ambush ahead. Oh, yes. Yep. Was that really everyone? I thought there was like a few more. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, when you start this game off as like a newbie, everything feels so overwhelming. And then just going back to the older areas of the game, and you're just absolutely decimating everything in like, three hits max. It really strokes your ego in some type of way. It really, it gives you that, look at how far I've come type of energy. I love it, I love it, I fuck with it. Why don't you use your shield? Jeez, alright. Three Esther shards, sure. And then, does this NPC up here respawn? He does. Can I backstab him, please? It is so hard to backstab in this game. Alright, there we go. 420, nice. So, there's, can you just, like, constantly loot that NPC then? Because it looks like it dropped something important, so... Or the, usually the NPCs with the red eyes seem like they drop something, but it's not always the case. But how often does it happen for it to be the case, you know? I haven't died yet, my body's still boiling with ember. Is that even the correct term, boiling with ember? Next time, I should just do Catch Flame. Catch Flame seems like it has... Yeah, Catch Flame seems like it has high... Low risk, high reward. Because it staggers. It burns. Doesn't do the best of damage. But it does something. Alright. Huh. And then... That, this camera thing will never not fuck me up. Yeah, I'll just pretend like I'm playing the game normally. Just one swift motion, no shortcuts, no, no areas I've been to before.
Where am I? On top of the high wall. Why does this look like a staircase? It's not a staircase. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This eclipse looks beautiful. I am not sure if the eclipse itself is a, a berserk reference as well. I'm pretty sure it is. But to be fair, Dark Souls is basically like berserk in an alternate universe. Oh goodness, jeez. Alright, there we go. And then when I reach a certain location, I think I'ma just go get that Esther Shard 9 to 2. It's actually a reasonable amount. There's no boss I'm gonna be facing that needs more than that. I don't know if the Lord of Cinder has frostbite immunity. Sadness ahead. You don't deserve this. Yeah, I don't know if the, the final boss of the game has frostbite resistance. But it's fine. I don't think I needed to have frostbite resistance. The weapon does pretty solid damage. So, it is what it is. Right now, my entire goal is just to investigate certain areas, fight bosses that apparently I've missed. And it seems like apparently I've missed a lot. Could this be a giant? What? He's pointing up, but okay. Could this be a giant? And I swear, Dark Souls fans will always do that. With the most random things, too. Uh, Undead Settlements. Alright. Then I'll come back to see here. That uh uh a tight night slab Hold on now, I did not know you were selling one. I'm a level seventy seven at the end of the game. Final boss, okay. Uh reinforce the to the highest level. The only thing I have that needs a Titanite slab to reach the max level would be the the Pyromancy's hand. So I can upgrade that to plus 10 and I think I'll get a trophy for doing so as well. But I'm probably just gonna I'm gonna need to get a lot of money. And with that with that uh large amount of money, that lump sum, then I just buy a lot of spells. I buy all the spells, because apparently there's this one that blind girl. You can end up fucking up her quest line if you buy dark spells. Cause she gets she, like oh the dark spells are forbidden. And then if you buy more dark spells, she gets afraid of you. Because you know dark spe like dark Magicianry, whatever it's called. Dark Pyromancy, or, no, it's not Dark Pyromancy, it's just Dark Magicianry. And so she runs away. Which, I guess she's scared, but 
Yeah. I'd have to get enough money to buy all of the items at once. So, Morn armor, Dancer's armor. Smoke's helmet. Oh, you can buy Smoke's stuff. Okay. Lorian's helm. I didn't even know they added boss armor to the to the roster every single time you beat one. I knew about the crown, but I didn't know about all the other armor. Like, why is Smoke's armor here? Why Smoke? You don't even fight Smoke. He's from Dark Souls 1. Ashen 1. Huh. Strange. That is good, wasn't it? Pretty be careful. <laughs> Alright, Titanite slab is 30,000. 30,000 for a slab. For one slab, and I have to use it on my Pyromancy Flame. Because right now, I don't think I need to upgrade my... My sword. It's actually pretty good where it is already. It's a uh, plus four. It needs one slab to be plus five. But I don't think I need that plus five. Yeah, I don't think I need the plus five. But I do want the trophy for saying, oh, reach a weapon to its max. Actually, hmm. Does the weapon only go to plus five? What is it called again? Uh, ethereal. Ethereal. Straight sword. Is this an ice sword? It is the one It's an ice sword. Alright. What does it scale up to? Plus 5? Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, so it only goes up to plus 5. So I can choose to either max out my flame hand or max out my ice sword. I think I'm gonna max out the ice sword. Strength wise, I already met the, the cap. It gains more strength. Oh, it gains more from strength than dexterity. Okay. I thought it would have to scale up to plus 10, which didn't make sense for me. If Titanite Slab is so rare. And it's so rare where it seemingly you can only buy like one a game or have like three a game. Then how the hell would you expect to level this thing up to plus 10? So I'm glad it's a plus 5 thing. Uh... Alright, yeah, good sword. I don't know if I'm gonna have to look up a YouTube guide on how to find the other bosses though. I mean, shit, if you wanna have fun there, go have fun. I'm not gonna stop you. Fuck, it's your life. Layer ahead. So many areas I feel like I haven't explored. So many areas I feel like I need to explore. Okay, so it seems like you can jump to the other side? You can. And it seems like there's something there. Is that it? I thought there was gonna be an item here for me. Alright, it is what it is. Take the normal route, take the normal route.
Why do these guys do so much damage? Catch flame! Okay, so there's nothing in here. Nothing in here I really need to stress myself over. Sit down, sit down, sit down! Again, just being able to go through older air ow being able to go through older areas and do you mind I'm talking being able to go through older areas and just you know one tapping these NPCs does just so satisfying I love it I love it so much especially with the sword that's near its max with me at my strength near its max what is my current strength? 50. Because I'm wearing the ring, so it's like 45 base. Uh, I said I was going to increase my dexterity so I could use more weapons. Alright, let me just explore these areas. Because I don't mind killing all the NPCs just to... Make it to where I need to go. Yet. Huh? So you're telling me I've really never been to this area? No, I know I have. This game is gaslighting me. Neither of them caught flame. Oh, so this is where they fall on you from above. Okay, so yeah, I definitely haven't been here before. Um, okay. Bro, these ones really do stand out. Like, they're the only ones with color. It looks like they have some life to them. Maybe under certain lighting you could fool me. But, like... Like this one, yeah. Bro, the fact that you do damage standing up. Where's the Estes soup? See, I would have liked it if Elden Ring decided to... <laughs> if Elden Ring had added Estus soup, that would have been... That would have been nice. No, you don't always have to waste your... Your flask. What are the names of the flask? Yo! Crimson Tear flask or whatever. Instead of constantly having to waste that, you can just... You know? Randomly stumble upon some soup in the world. Who cooked it? Who cares? Actually, now that I think about it, would I ever hidden path ahead? And I know you're lying. You're not lying. You're sort of lying. You aren't lying, okay? Ugh. I mean, it's in the beginning of the game that would definitely have been useful, so... I'm gonna be a hater, but not too much of one. Oh 
Oh yeah, wow saying. I don't know if I would ever actually just eat random soup out in the world. I think the biggest reason why I would eat it, not just because not because I think it's poisoned or anything, but more out of curiosity of whether or not it's expired. If it looks fresh, like out the pot, like it's just been freshly cooked. Um Shit, I actually might eat it. I will be curious though as to item ahead. I'll be curious as to where the owner... The owner of the soup? That's not even the right term. I would be curious as to where the... The chef went. It's like, why did you leave your station? Why did you leave your food unattended? Who in good lord's name? Because if I could find out why you left your food unattended, then I'd feel more comfortable eating that soup. It's like, oh, you left because of an emergency? Uh, great. Thank you for the soup, though. But if it's, oh, you left because, um, you just felt like it. Right. You felt like leaving perfectly good soup unattended. Mmm, a bit too suspicious if you ask me. And I'm just overthinking it. Maybe it's just soup. It's like, well, why am I overthinking the idea of eating soup? I guess somebody could say all of this could be avoided if you just don't eat strange soup in the first place. But then what's the fun in that? I feel like there is fun in the idea of finding mysterious soup and then deciding to indulge in it. Just because it's there. Ow. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so... Is that how you spell? Yeah, it is. And then, who the hell is sending me a Discord message at this time? Alright, there we go. Everything sorted out. Which direction did I come from? Alright.
I'm so focused on trying to find everything. Like, how do I miss the small things like a random mimic chest in the very beginning of the game? The very first mimic chest, too. Somehow, I got captured by that. Which, to be fair, would have killed me. It would have killed me if I had found it early on in the game. Because mimic chests already do so much damage as is. Wait, this is a shortcut. Can't take it. Not yet. A part of me also wants to take a small detour from, like, doing all this stuff just to see if I can invade some people. Hello. Tight night shard. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, so I've gone through this location. This map is so large, and that that is something that is good for sure. Why did you drop down? Just to just to die. I didn't even mean to backstab you, but hey. I'll take it. So yeah, this map is huge. Which is a positive. But it, it really is like Dark Souls. It's like uh, Bloodborne. How, because the map is so big, you can just get lost in the sauce. And then you miss so many boss encounters. Like, for example, oh, I remember there's even some NPCs that you just find, I guess. Some NPCs you find, you interact with, but nothing ever really comes from that. More or less just the fact that you interacted with them to begin with. It's like, oh yeah, by the way, there's this NPC. Do you remember him? No? Oh, okay. Shit, you don't remember him, but he was there. There's also that one girl, Yuria, her side quest, she wants me to marry her friend. Take turns. What murder? What murder? He was the best guy there ever was. What about his murders? What murder? Take care. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing good, man. Right now, I'm just re-exploring some areas because it seems like we are at the final boss of the game. But there apparently are a lot of bosses I have not killed yet. So I want to fight them before I fight the final boss and then uh, move to like New Game Plus or something. It's not like I'm trying to platinum the game on stream. Actually no, mm, depends on the difficulty of the platinum. But yeah, that's what I'm, I'm, that's my current goal right now. As for how I'm doing, man, I'm chill. Ooh, ooh, I almost fell down there. I'm chilling. Can't complain. Just getting cooked by him. Actually, this is the beginning of the game. I'm not getting cooked anymore. Ha! Ah. Still susceptible to jump scares, though. Although, mm, I wouldn't say that was a jump scare. More just like a, a surprise attack, you know? A little... How much damage does this do now? Ooh, an insta-kill. Alright. That was not reaching. That was not reaching. Oh, I killed him. Just a little pokey poke. 
Not the best of items. How did I miss it though? Mmm. What does that look like it leads somewhere? Alright, we'll follow the trail. <gasps> sorry, sorry, sorry. I meant to Another Nana disappeared. Another Nana has disappeared. Okay. Another Nazi so clan tinker. He announced so coming to the I I'm gonna kill him. What do you drop? Nothing? Damn, I killed him for nothing. My fault, OG. <laughs> My fault. I thought you were gonna give me something useful. Mmm, there's a lot of blood in my hands and I'm not sure I like it. Yeah, I've never been here before. A whole cage on your back? Imagine... Imagine I kill who I need to kill over here and then apparently like I needed to kill somebody over here for the side quest for the character that I just killed Bro, I'ma feel tight I'ma actually feel sick. I'ma feel so bad That I ended a side quest so prematurely <gasps> No That looks like an important item too. Now I'll never know what the item was. That is unfortunate. That is so unfortunate. My nose wants to sneeze, but it also doesn't. You know like that irritation you get before a sneeze? That nose like irritation that you get before a sneeze. But there is no build up to the sneeze. It's just irritation. Hello. Wait, yeah, wasn't there also a trophy for like getting all Estes? Oh, Estes shards. I'm not too sure about that one. These legs are just so... Can you jump out the wind? No. I'm so... Try like, I'm trying so hard to have a keen eye for the things around me. That I don't even know what areas are safe to go and what areas aren't safe to be in. But I'm so willing to like test the waters that it might just screw me over eventually. where I go okay that is not fair that you can stun me from actually no it is fair because I can stun him from walking oh from falling if I fall correctly then I can I can stun him so yeah it's fair Bro, what was that item that was hanging off that I just seen? I don't know. And I know it's not gonna respawn. Smacking that item was truly a mistake. Oh, I regret it already. I regret it so much. Uh, you see, it's no longer there. Oh, man. Oh, it is there. I won't make the same mistake twice. Believe me. Yep, 
Yeah, fall this way. The flame stone plate ring. Oh, fire damage absorption. Oh yeah, apparently there's one for lightning. Which is useful, especially because now I can turn into a dragon. It'd be useful to have a dragon nullifying... Or electricity lightning nullifying uh, ring. Bro, I'm salivating at the idea of fighting the Nameless King. I feel like I'm gonna cook the fuck out of the Nameless King, bro. People say he's difficult, but I don't think he's that difficult. Hold on. Oh, okay. So clearly, if I fall down there, I'm dead. So how are you supposed to make the... Look at how big this area is. Also, now that I think about it, I am surprised there was no writing on the floor that indicated whether or not a, uh, an enemy was there. Not an enemy, but like, oh, drop down here. Because usually, even if the area is obvious, that, oh, you can drop down. The hell is that? Even though it's ob sometimes an area is obvious that, oh, you can drop down here. They'll still let you know. Is that a fog gate? I doubt it is. I really doubt that's a fog gate. Why does it look like a fog gate, though? It can't be a fog gate. Can it? Sir, early on in the game? Really? Can it? Um... See, now I'm just- I'm just questioning my entire existence. Woo! How didn't I notice you fall? See, I wanna go- I wanna go check to see if it is a fog gate. Also, if it is, how the hell did I miss it? What is with the heavenly light that's coming out of the- What is going on in there? Nah, I gotta go peep that shit out. I feel like I've been there though. So is there like something I'm supposed to do like hit an emote? I'm not gonna lie. Souls games that require you to hit emotes in certain locations in order to unlock secret, like special areas. It's nothing new. I don't think no Sekiro doesn't have emotes, but it's definitely something that happens in what Bloodborne, is it? Okay, so this is where the sun is shining. It feels like there's something special about this this passage, this opening. But for oh my, oh my, all right. It looks special. For what though? Okay, no. If if it's an emote thing, if I'm required to emote and the emote does not praise the sun. Then, uh, yeah, it's not for me. Although I do know there's one area that I think I need like a sitting emote for. And then I sit down, and then it's tell it teleports me to the area where I have to fight the Nameless King. I just don't know what it is. Okay. It's 
fine. We've explored a lot of this area. Maybe there's an item I'm missing. What does it say? Bonfire head, so time to speed. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Try down. I will. After a minute, give me a second. Uh-huh, 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 yeah. Now, um... There's, you see, there's another body hanging off. And it looks like it has a precious item. I am so frustrated. How did I not notice these things? I really thought I was being observant. I thought like, ooh, nothing can get past me. I'm peeping at all. I peep shit. I didn't see anything. Practically blind. How do I get up there? How do I get up there? Um... It's not a smart move running around in an area like this knowing how everything is so explosive. <gasps> ah, there we go. Alright, so I have been here before. But I'm like, I'm running through these areas and I'm really starting to doubt areas that I've been to before. Simply just because, like, I'll reach an area, and I'll pick up an item. Then I'm like, wait, how did I not notice this on my first playthrough? It looks so blatant, and yet... I couldn't find it. Get out of here. Leave. Don't drop down, it seems. Could this be a fire? Lord of Cinder? Alright. How am I supposed to? Now, how is this supposed to work? Hey, Pyromancy's for the win! Ugh! Bad weapons. Unless, and this is like Ornstein. Is it Ornstein? It is Ornstein. Unless it's Ornstein's spear. I don't care. I'm not interested. Fireball. It's wizard time, motherfucker. Not a fireball. So you can go down there, mind you. But but but, it's not recommended to do so. No, actually, no. It is recommended that you go down there. It has some good items. game really thought they could they really thought they could do that how try to be sneaky hiding things behind smoke little did you know I played Bloodborne I know if there's a lot of thick fog in a specific area there's NPCs hiding in it Souls games will teach you about other Souls games okay you can't fool me I'm not familiar with your game Alright, so let's go up the staircase before we go down there. Some of these areas really look traversable. Traversable? Is that the right word? Hold on. Traverse. 
So it is a word, okay, traversable. Alright. Well, hello to you too. Simple hi could have been fine. You didn't have to be a dickhead about it. Great curse ridden tree up ahead. Have I ever been here? Yep, we don't do this anymore. Oh, yes, this is where you fight the boss. After you fight the boss, you break down. Okay. All right, all makes sense now. I was wondering, like, what? Curse ridden tree up ahead. It sounded like a boss I've never faced before. To be fair, I don't remember the name of most bosses, so I understand what you say. Worker gloves. Hey, what's that guy who would snipe from the ceiling? I guess he died. Now I don't have to worry about like incessive bullet rain. Oh, ha, 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 ha. How classy. Bleed buildup. I don't know what was the point of implementing those M these NPCs into the game. They are more annoying versions of the imps. Why would you include them? For who? For what purpose? You just saw me take down one of your, your goons, your big guy. Still wanna fight? Alright, so it all circles back. Good to see. It all circles back. Now that I think there's like one more area I haven't explored. Well, I've explored it. But I'm re-exploring, that's what I mean to say. Uh, let's see... Mm-hmm. What is that notification? Most likely it was Twitter. Yep, it was Twitter. Every single time I get a notification that doesn't pop up on my phone, it has to be Twitter. Why would they even lie and say this is like a, an illusionary wall, bro? I'm so heartbroken by that. And I know it's a type of... Oh, it's, it's, it's old born trolling. They like to do that. They be like that sometimes. How about they don't be like that? How about they be honest in helping and giving advice? Yeah, sure. And put your, your little things like... Uh... Try finger butt hole, right? Fine. Be your do your little memes. But ugh, when it when it comes to actual help and shit like that, why? Why? Oh, we already came from. Why? Why? W w what's the point of that? What is the point of that? Ah! 
I completely forgot that they do that. I completely forgot that they throw their pots. I thought they fought with them. I forgot. Okay, fine, fine, fine. I do not need to kill every NPC. It's not like every NPC is going to drop something new for me. Uh, let's take this path. It's shorter, it's a shortcut. Saw the large deserted corpse. Alright. I do need to find out how the hell did one how do you access some of these areas and then two how did these people find these areas because some of these areas feel like they would be so ambiguous like how did you find out that this was the area to be at Like for example, that one, uh, that one boss, the Nameless King, apparently, it's like it's a secret boss. How did you find out? That is a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. Uh-huh, both of you, kneel! Okay, so if they're at a distance, they will throw it. If they're in your face, they'll use it to fight. Heard you. Now that was not necessary. Weren't there two of you? Yeah. Alright, nothing in there that I can go into. Visions of a good fellow. <gasps> He's dead? Moaning shield, what the fuck? Time for left arm, no dead ahead. He died? Alright, I'm curious though, what does, what does the moaning shield do? Deform great shield. Uh, let's see. The giant woman's face. That protects Egeon. Igon? I'm gonna say Igon. Is that of his sister? Oh, he has his sister's ability on his shield. Skill. Moan. Um. Offer a gentle prayer to the shield, causing the woman's face to give out a loud moan to attract enemies. I know why they're being attracted. I know. <laughs> I know why they're being attracted. Actually, I want to. I want to. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. Moaning shield. Bro, this shit did not moan. Get out of here. Get out of here. Disappointing. Absolutely disappointing. That shit did not moan. It will moan, attracting certain types of enemies. Yeah, because they horny as fuck, but like, damn. It did not moan. I'm disappointed. I was lied to. Deceiving. 
false advertising. You can sue from soft for that. Ally ahead. Oh, the uh, hmm. Hmm. That is so unfair. I expected to I expected to see some oh not see some I expected to hear something. <gasps> He's dead! Hawk ring. Let's see what the black hawk do. <laughs> I couldn't even make that I couldn't make that joke with a serious face, I'm sorry. Um What does the hawk ring do? Extends the range of bows. Alright, fair. What killed him though? Such a giant fellow. Can I wake him up with a smack? So did everything die once the eclipse happened? I think... I think so. I'm responsible for this. I killed him. I have his, uh... I can't say his blood, because he doesn't have any blood. Why does it feel like there's an area up here that you can jump to? Here! I swear you can jump there. I want to make the effort though, I want to make the effort, I want to try, I want to try, I want to try. Yeah, okay. Yeah! I knew it, like I didn't fight that NPC. And I was wondering, how did I even get, or how did I miss the area? Okay, okay, okay. We're about to fight a new boss, new NPC, let's do it. I don't know if it's an NPC or if it's a boss. It's big like a boss, but it's strolling like an NPC, so... I, I really don't know. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. He looks like he's gonna be some fun. To be fair, I am over level for this, so... The design is so cool though. Fire gem. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, the design was so cool. Even though I killed it in uh, my first attempt. Which was expected. Would have been embarrassing if I died because I am in a uh, late game. I'm practically a late game NPC in the early game arena. Damn, look like he got cooked. Northern? Alright. Sure. Give me a second. Large club. Wait, don't I already have a large club? Uh, Alright, it's fine. Okay. Mm. 
This looks like it's above the boss fight. Yeah, this is this place is the boss fight room, right? It is. All right. Excuse me. Woo. Ooh, that felt good. Oh yeah, that stretched that stretched me out. Pause. But that yeah, that felt good. Okay, hold on. Okay. Let's see, do 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 do. All right, there we go. Now I need to actually like properly search this area because I mean this area is new to me. Okay, fair. Fire resistance. Can't can't turn it down. Can't turn it down. Ah. Get down. Aha. Uh -huh. Get down. Wait, why did that one not Oh, do you know I just realized the reason why I uh what's this? aggro that NPC so easily it was because of the moaning shield the moaning shield was still in effect what I what is the lore behind people turning into trees right because it's not even like an Elden Ring thing where it's like oh I guess it would where did the dogs come from but like, it's not even like an Elden Ring thing where, oh, all all dead bodies return. Oh, born from the Earth Tree return to the Earth Tree, right? It makes sense in Elden Ring. Doesn't really make sense here. Is this a mimic chest? No, it's not. All right. Aha! Ha ha! What is human pine resin? Applies dark to the right-handed weapon. All right. Why two of you? What are y'all protecting? Bastard's curse. What's the bastard's curse? Oh. Oh. Okay. What are you waiting for? Whoa, before I go up there, before I go up there, is there anything over here I need to explore? No? 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 We good? Alright. Berserk reference. Me dropping down onto that thing does, doesn't look like it'll take me anywhere useful. Alright, there's writing there. Ooh, ooh, item. Please let it be good. Let it be good. Flynn's ring. Fling. I'm really co collecting rings now. Lower the equip load, but increases attack. Ah! No, but I already do enough damage. I do enough damage. I don't want to one tap bosses as well, right? I want to fight enemies, but I don't want to one-tap them. Because shit, what was that one boss? You know, the, the, the two princes. Little bro and big bro. They were already spongy enough. I don't want to add more sponge to it. Oh. Uh, ba -ba -ba. All right, there we go. 
Actually, now that I think about it, I'm surprised this game doesn't have any trap floors item ahead. I am really surprised this game doesn't have any trap floors. Like, where, for example, you step on it and then it breaks underneath you. Or maybe there is and I just haven't noticed. Or I don't remember. Could be either or. But I don't remember any trap floors in this game. And I don't know whether to be ex like happy that that's the case or disappointed. Miria. Who's Miria? Fuck, I'm gonna have to wa watch a Vati video. I'm assuming this one has to do with, du not durability, endurance. It's an endurance ring. Yep, raises stamina recovery speed. Hmm. Hmm. All right, all right. All right, there we go. Okay. Regret ahead. Oh, the boss, that's why. Message. <sighs> okay. Thank you for the message. Okay, now, now where am I supposed to go, though? It seems like I've... I've actually explored every single area of this. Uh, so let's use a homeward. Alright, there we go. So that's everything in this area. Perfectly done. Now all that's missing is, uh, I don't know, we're still hunting, bro. We're still hunting for bosses and shit. Pit of Hollows. All right. Yeah, I feel like this is the most, this is the most undiscovered, my bad, this is the most unsearched area of the game, for me. Also this one actually, now that I think about it. Cathedral of the Deep, looks like, some of these areas look like they're supposed to have more, more to them, you know? Oh, by accident, he teleported to the same location. Wait a minute, what? Okay, sure, rolls of se- Wait a m- Huh? How do I get here? I know I teleported here. From where? 
Oh, it's a web. Oh, yeah, this is where I got my ice sword. Ha, ah, memories. My memories. Anyway. Also, it seems like this area doesn't have one of those, those, um, quote-unquote, elevators. Actually, no, it kind of does. It has that one by that guy who was like, hmm, hmm, hmm. Alright. Because I was thinking, like, there is no area where, like, let's say the elevator rises up and then there's a second elevator you can take. Or you just drop down. Alright, time to explore. Oh yeah, I forgot about these. I've never overanalyzed an entire area this much, bro. Elden Ring doesn't even make me pay attention to the surroundings this badly. I'm really trying to make sure I can find every opportunity to fight like a boss, etc. Sit down. I'm trying to find out if there's a secret passage. Oh, there's a secret passage that's going to take you to a new boss. Like, what's the name of that one boss? Dark Eater Medir. Actually, let me search it on. Dark Eater Medir. Where is he? So he is in Dark Souls 3. He remains the hardest dragon boss of all Souls games. The hardest? Harder than Dragon uh, Placidusix? Placidusax. Okay. Weak to lightning damage, but lightning scales off of faith. How to find Boss Eater Medir? Wait, what? <laughs> How to find Dark Eater Medir? Alright, let's see. Where is he? Let me just quickly watch the video so that when I approach the situation, I will know where to go and what to do. Bro, is this Dark Souls 3? This does not look like Dark Souls 3. This is not Dark Souls 3. It is Dark Souls 3. Chotto mate kudasai. Is Dark Eater Madeir DLC? That's the question I should be asking. Oh, he is DLC. Okay. Oh my goodness. I was out here thinking, oh, I'm about to be hunting for a boss that isn't even in the main game. And I don't have the DLC. Alright. Uh, what is this? The Nameless King.
The Nameless King location. And how am I going to fight him? Arch Dragon Peak. He's an optional boss in Dark Souls. After ringing the large bell. The large bell? Arch Dragon Peak, is that where I got this ability to turn into a dragon? How to get to the Nameless King. Okay, he's located in Arch Dragon Peak. The fight is optional, meaning that you don't have to face him in order to achieve any ending. The boss fight can be accessed by ringing a bell, which will play a cutscene showing fog covered over the area. So the bigger question is how to get to Arch Dragon Peak. Dark Souls 3 only has 5 optional bosses, really? Huh. Okay, if you didn't collect it, uh, if you didn't collect it already, head to the room where you fought Osirios? I'm assuming it's that giant boss, the dark one, right? And pick up the path to the old dragon gesture from the king that sat in front of the mountain. Huh? Bro, this game just be saying shit. Do this and this and this and this. Like, what? Okay, we'll, we'll get to him. We'll get to the nameless king. Tough enemy ahead. Oh yeah, yeah, wait, that was that was uh, Anastasia that I beat. Yeah. Why point there when the boss was this way? Well, not the NPC. The NPC was here. Hmm. When did I get here? How did I? Okay, no, never mind. Hmm. Try below. Oh, wow! Wow! Excuse me, where did that dog come from? Spawned out of the ether. Mourn's ring. Boosts miracles. Ah. Oh, I can give this to the blind girl to learn more miracles. I'm a lyrical spiritual individual like I'm so glad I can now hit them kill them in two hits. Alright, where's the other one? Where's the final guy? See, if this is the case, then at least one trophy we need to get is get all the rings.
Hmm. I want to go to this Arch Dragon Peak thing. Uh, I don't even know how to get there, though. I forgot where it was. Oh, it was in the dungeon, right? It was. Okay, it was in the dungeon. Uh, it was after you beat... Aldridge, Devourer of Lords. No, it wasn't this. Uh... Shit. Where the fight... Where do you fight this boss? Uh, Os... Osiris... The Consumed King. I swear, this game just be adding new bosses and new locations that I just haven't discovered yet. Okay, so from... How do I get there? Okay, so from the Dance of the Boreal Village. Oh yeah, wait, I just realized I can play this video in times two speed. Okay. I want to fight the Nameless King. There's five optional bosses. And I don't know how many I've fought. Oh yeah, wait, the Boreal, the Dance of the Boreal Village is actually one of the optional bosses. Alright, so I've fought one so far. Wait, is she optional? She feels optional. Oh my goodness, it's just optional boss after optional boss. Alright, so the consumed king's garden. That's it. What kind of video is this? Ugh. Where is the... Wait a minute... So how do I get down here? Alright, you know what? You know what? So I need to somehow get down there... In order... To fight... The boss... In order to fight the name is king. All right. Do not open from the side. All right. So I guess we just have to expose or explore this area. We have to like really explore this area now. Try finger here. Jog ahead. What? Oh yeah, I just realized they, they buffed him. They buffed him.
Where was it again? Oh, yeah. Okay. GG. I realize because this area is more late-ish game These MPs are in these MPs these NPCs are actually doing damage What is that damage my guy? Don't buff him and he got buffed Seems like your AI is telling you not to go past this location noted In order to fight the Nameless King, you need to go back to the Consumed King's Garden. You see, the problem is... Thank you very much for the... Hold on, let me read it. Hard to get to the, the Consumed King's Garden. Well, have I already been there? That was not the damage I expected to see. And he fights with lightning. Beautiful. Nope. Die, die, die. Stay dead, stay dead. Stay dead. You're dead, you're dead. Yes, sir. How do you get to the... How do you get to that area, though? The Dead King's Garden. Or the Consumed King's Garden. Have I been there before? I don't think I have. Doesn't feel like I have. Contraption ahead. Visions of Secret. Time for sadness. Visions of secret, but time for sadness. Why are these people so ambiguous? Contraption ahead. Visions of secret, but time of sadness. Time for sadness. What does this mean? Oh, so I didn't mean to switch it, but... Visions of secret but time for sadness. I hate these riddles. 
Why are we playing in riddles? Can't you just tell me what to do? Ow! What the f- Y'all got me fucked up. Okay, can I survive the fall? I don't think so, so let me just... There we go... Wasn't this where the dragon was? It is where the dragon was. Crest Fallen King. Oh. <gasps> Woo. Oh, this is a mimic, though. Damn. All right. Bro, mimics are actually... Catch flame. There we go. The sunlight straight sword. I hear dogs. Sunlight straight sword. Yeah, whoever gave me that information about... <gasps> nice. Whoever gave me that information about, like, the, the mimics, I thank them so much. I would have trust issues with every single chest when they said, Oh, if the chain is facing you, then it's a mimic. If it's facing opposite direction, or if it's facing the direction you're facing, then it's a normal chest. Thank goodness that's something somebody decided to tell us. Because I feel like I would have fell for it every single time. Without fail. I would fall for every single... Actually, no, I don't even think I would. I think I'd just start swinging at every single chest I saw. Like, oh, there's a chest. Hit it. Just to be safe. Old codger ahead. What do these words mean? Key C O D C O D E G E R An elderly uh, elderly man. An elder Ah, uh, I can't say the word. Elderly man is up ahead. Okay. What does that have to do with anything? Is he important to the lore? Ah! Range advantage, nice, nice. Good shit. How do I find my way? Lord help me. Broken straight sword. Lord help me. How do I find my way to that garden? The consumed king's garden. Double space. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing good. Right now, we're just exploring. Looking for stuff. Because, like, I don't want to fight... Dickhead! Absolute dickhead! Oh, I'm so close to dying. Hope you're doing good. Hey, man, I'm chilling. Ow, ow. Okay, so, consumed King's Garden. Who is this guy with the big stepper? All right. He got some hefty footsteps. What does your character look like that though? Uh, because I have used a dragon's torso. What is it called? Yeah, the dragon torso stone, which transforms me into 
a little bit of a dragon. Now, my main goal is to try fight the Nameless King. Because I heard he was difficult. I was going to try fight Dark Eater Medir, but apparently he's DLC. And I don't have any DLC, any buffs. As far as I'm aware, the buff is speed, stamina. Who is this guy with the holy music coming off of his sword? Anyways, I think the speeds were... Oh, the buffs were speed and stamina. And maybe attack. Although I'm not too sure about the damage bonus. Because I'm pretty sure it would have indicated if there was a damage bonus. You know, now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever been through that door. Hello, can you get off my tip, please? Have I been through here? Uh, more holy music. Oh, time to drop down. Ooh, that is a lot of health. All right. So I knew they were. Ah! Wow! Wow! Whoa, whoa, straight to swinging, absolutely straight to swing, no hesitations at all. I don't know whether to respect it or fear it. I do like the holy music though. I'm surprised they didn't add that to, uh, what is this game? Elden Ring. Like, let's say you did a Golden Order incantation. It feels holy enough for you to add holy music, in my opinion. How have I never been in this location before? Rusted coin. No monster ahead. Yeah, it's a normal chest. Tight Knight scale, thank you. Yeah, I've never been here before. Wow. Death ahead. Excuse me? The contraption does not move. Why? 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 Why doesn't it move? Be wary of finger. No finger ahead. Is this something I need to do? Incantation is holy -ish. Okay. Why doesn't the contraption work? And hey, why doesn't it move? I finally reached an area I haven't explored before for some weird reason. And oh my god! Where did you go? Oh yeah, I remember you were chasing me and I dropped down. And he fights with lightning damage too. Which is... Oh, dragons are weak to lightning damage. Why doesn't the contraption work? So many questions. Not enough answers. That, that is so ass. That's actually like straight booty cheeks. Classic from software, yep. Okay. Alright, there we go. Now, let me go fetch my souls i need to buy a titanite slab and i'm going to upgrade my sword to plus five to its max 
Listen to all the holiness you can in this area. Just constant munching. Alright, great. What if the contraption didn't move because... Okay, I thought the contraption didn't move because there was an enemy. A head down. I can't pull the lever. I can't step on the item itself. What is stopping it from dropping? What is stopping it from dropping? Red Tearstone Ring. This game just be giving you anything at this point. Boost attack when HP is low. Ah, alright. So how am I supposed to get to the garden if this... Wait. Ah, that's a lot of damage. Mm -mm -mm. This is gonna bother me. Finally, we found a way to explore an area we haven't explored before. And the game was like, no. What are you trying to explore? For what reason? For what purpose? And then I'm just getting attacked and chased by people who fight with lightning damage. And uh, as a dragon, I don't like that. Why are dragons so weak to lightning? How come this is not the case in actual Elden Ring? I've never heard like, oh, dragons are weak to lightning in Elden Ring. This is just a Dark Souls thing. If it's if I have to access that area through the Grand Archives, I'm actually going to shoot myself in Minecraft. something lightning weakness makes sense it makes sense right but like this is in a world that doesn't make sense Actually, wait. Can I? Question mark. I can. Okay, wait, wait. Cancel level up. Ashen one. Ah. I need to buy the the slab first. Return the slab, or suffer my curse. I used to hate that episode of Courage the Cowardly Dog so much. Oh my god. So I said, return the slab. No. I suffer my curse. Ever since that episode, I, mean, I don't just uh, I don't touch shit me. that I don't know. If it looks strange, it probably is strange. Don't touch it. Your life will be better off without it. Trust me. What does this require? Oh, this is reinforcing, infusing, not... Oath of Sunlight. Oh, it looks like yeah, it scales off of faith. Yeah. Give me a trophy? Where's my trophy? Bro, I swear there's a trophy that's like upgrade a weapon to its max. I just did. Hold on.
Why haven't I gotten my trophy? Acquire all pyromancy, sorceries, miracles, all rings, learn all dress gestures. The gesture one is going to be, be the one that bothers me. Reinforce a bonfire to its highest level. Reinforce an Estus Flask to its highest level. Um... Okay, to go to the King's Garden, you'll need to go to where you kill the dance... Okay, I'll read that message. Hold on. I swear there's a trophy for, like, upgrade a weapon to its highest... And it's one of the hidden trophies, too. Mwah, beautiful. Alright. Before I do that, let me just continue reading. Uh, I need a Tight Knight Slab to upgrade this to plus 5 as well. But I can wield it, and that's a nice thing. Lorian's Greatsword. I don't like great swords because they're so slow. However, exceptions can be made. A part of me wants to upgrade Smog's hammer just because it belongs to Smog. But I'd be I'd just be wasting weapons or wasting materials at that point. Or would I? Like again, another part of me wants to upgrade Gut's sword because it's Gut's sword. But I feel like I'd be amazing. Wait, it's Titanite Shard, so I could, actually. Ah. Insufficient funds. Pretty like that. Just because it's Gut Sword, I'm gonna upgrade it to the max. Literally no other reason. Do I plan to use it? Hell no! But the fact that it's there... It is, is enough for me, you know? Plus 8. I need 6 more to push it to plus 9. Then I don't need to upgrade it again. But. I just did that just to pay my respects to Guts. Because it is what it is. I thought this was a lightning bolt. Heretic staff. All right. Bro this moaning shield. Does not do what it. It does not do what it said it was going to do. The moaning shield does not in Pretty fact moan. Like now, where is that blind girl? Um... Wrong girl? That's the pyromancer. Where's the blind girl? Is she on this side? Yep. Yo, I got some books I need you to read for oh, me. Do you wish to hear a tale? No. Nah. Oh, you've brought me a braille divine tome. Mm -hmm. Now I can tell new tales of miracles. Okay. Tales of the greater miracles can be quite the epics. What fun we will <laughs> Which is crazy because I'm not a faith build. It's not like I'm going to oh, use any of these spells, but I just need to buy tome. them for the sake of doing so. Now, our tales what <laughs> now what spells did you add? Heal, me medium heal, replenishment. This one seems useful. Gradually restore HP. Gradually restore high HP. Okay. Uh, grant one chance to endure. When HP reaches zero. One chance to endure. Does that mean if you get killed, you just don't get killed? It's like Sekiro, shadows die twice. That would be interesting. Creates a shockwave. Alright. Bless the right-handed weapon. Alright. Uh huh. And then these are cursed spells. So, how much would it cost to buy all of these? We'll figure it out later. I'll do the math later. Just get a calculator. Didn't mean to rhyme on that. My bad. My fault. Okay. K K K K K K K K. So my weapon is max upgrade. It's maxed upgrade, and I still didn't get a trophy. By the way, that message. It's... There's a lever there. Where did I kill the dancer? Uh... 
Okay, so to the right there's a dancer. Alright, okay, okay, okay. Um... Do you know, I, there was an area I got a key for, and I didn't go to that location. I'm just going all willy-nilly now. Willy-nilly. Such a weird term to say. Brithy, be careful. Brithy, be careful. All right, where you kill the knight? Okay, I, I obviously I need to climb. I just wanted to double check. Head to the right. There's a lever there. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's turn right. I'm pretty sure there is a bonfire there, too. Me running into the wall like an idiot. Another feature that I... Uh, re oh, you meant the left? Damn it. Alright. So, I do... What I do like about Elden Ring is the fact that they added a feature... This was not the left I was supposed to go, I guess. They added a feature in which if you're not engaged in combat, you can sprint infinitely. The moment you get aggroed, or the moment you're like near an enemy, even if they don't aggro on you, the moment you're near an enemy, then all of a sudden now that decides to take stamina, right? Because then they don't want to give you infinite stamina. This door does not open from this side. Let me in! A lever. If you go left, you find a lever. How did I not notice this? Oh my god! Am I- I'm, I think I'm actually blind. I think I am actually legally blind. How did I never notice this lever? I walked in here multiple times. I looked at this area. I looked left. I looked right. I didn't see this and I left. Frustrated that I couldn't find the elevator. How blind am I? Holy shit. Wow. Wow, I'm actually blind. This is why I haven't been finding items and bosses in this game. It's like unless it has a giant red sign that says lever here, I just won't see it. Oh no. <laughs> really we're doing this again? Really Souls games we're doing this again? Wait, have I been here before? I feel like I've been here before. Hold on now. Why is my memory starting to... J Alright, you got it, bro. Uh-huh. What did you protect yourself in? How did that hit me? Actually, no. You know what? I'm not dealing with that. If you have bullshit hit mechanics, I'm... I am pretty sure we've been here before. I am almost certain we've been here before. Isn't this a required location too? Beast required ahead. Okay, I don't think I've been here before. Do, do, 
Do, do, do. Yep, I haven't been here before. Titanite scale. Uh huh. By the way, thank you very much for the advice. I really do appreciate it. Gassing each other up for what? Wait! Yep. Yeah, I have not been here before. But for some reason, I feel like I've been at the garden before. I've been to the garden before. Have I? I just haven't taken this route. Be wary of cold. Be wary of cold. Jog ahead. Here. Try finger. Oh, this is where you beat the, the knight. Alright. Oh, yeah, okay. So this was the door that was not letting me in. Something feels off. I can't put my finger on it, but something feels off. Especially about this area. Maybe because I haven't... I'm supposed to get attacked and I haven't been attacked yet. Or maybe another reason. Why does it look like I have a hickey on my neck? Who the fuck is making out with this dragon? Alright, never mind. <gasps> Wait a minute. Why does that feel like I can roll off? Aha! Uh -huh. Consume King's Garden. Be wary of behind. Dragon scale ring. Now hold on. As a dragon, as you can tell, this might be useful to me. Dragon scale ring. Reduces damage from back shots. Sorry, so, my bad. Backstabs, backstabs. You know, I thought it was gonna have to do something with being, you know, a dragon. Add some buffs to dragon things. Who are you? I swear to God, I, I feel like I've been here before. I am almost a thousand percent sure I have been here before. Ow! Rude! Niggas cannot pick up things in... Or can't pick up anything in peace anymore! Bro really said bug. Hey man. It's been a minute. <laughs> it's been a minute. Uh, hold on. Uh, okay. Give me a quick second. Ah, feels like there's something in my eye. Is there something in my eye? Nope. My eyelash. Best choice is just to run and roll. Noted. Griffith. Who? My character? Bro, I, I want to get rid of my hollowing so bad. I hate how ugly it makes me look. Th that's one of the main reasons why I keep transforming into a dragon. Not just because of the buffs, but because I don't have to look at my hollowing body.
Yeah, I tried to make my character Gojo inspired, but that didn't come out good. To be fair, I didn't even name my character Gojo. I, I think I named my character Sorosh. <clears throat> I named my character Sorosh after Godfrey, uh, Godfrey's uh, lion, the lion that's on the back of his, you know. I don't even know why I named him Sorosh. Sorosh is just a hard name. Like, do I really need a justification for it? Tight night chunk. Uh, sure, I'll take it. Appreciate it. I'll be so tight if I run into the area and then there's no boss because apparently I've already killed the boss. He's like, oh yeah, by the way, remember this area you're running into? You've already killed the boss. Oh no, okay, never mind. I haven't killed the boss. Let's do it. Ew! Oh yeah, I remember this boss, didn't I? I die to it like twice and then... No, I died to it once and then I never faced it again. This this was the boss I was talking about, my dear Ocelot. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, yeah, I remember this boss. I knew I had been here before. I walked into the area. I got hit. I died on my first attempt. Because I wasn't doing the, the damage I would like. He was pretty tanky at the time. So I was so underleveled. So then I was like, oh, I'm going to come back to the boss. And I completely forgot that this boss existed. Like, wow. Well, time to go fight him, though. My beautiful ocelot, whatever. Yeah, I, st I remember this. I think this was from like last week. Last week Sunday's live stream? I think it was last week Sunday. Where I fought the boss. And then I was, I, one of my questions was, why does this boss have a... Oh yeah, my question was, I'm heading out. Good luck, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Take care of yourself. Alright, so I remember I approached the boss... And then my number one question for the boss was, why does it have a cutscene, but none of the actual bosses do? Right, because you're meant to fight four of the main bosses before you fight the Lord of Cinder. Right? The Lord of Cinder does not have a cutscene when you jump into the boss fight, like Gradagon. Um, I think the only one that does have a cutscene was the final boss. The, the, the twins. Not, not the twins, but the, the two princes. They are the only bosses I know that had a cutscene, to my knowledge. So my question was, why does this one... Oh, my beautiful Ocelot. Why does he have a cutscene? Who are you? Why are you so special that you get a cutscene, but the main bosses of the game don't? The required bosses, by the way. Like, Yorm deserves a boss. He deserves a... Um, Yorm deserved a cutscene. Because he's Yorm. Still following? Yep. Is he immune to ice? Uh, nope, he isn't. Dear little Ocelot, where have you gone? Are you hiding from me? Come out. Come out. Don't be afraid. Do you know how creepy this guy sounds? Child of dragons. What could you possibly fear? Now, now, show yourself, Ocelot. Okay. Fair. I jumped late. I, I rolled.
Just had to. Just had to reset the prog. And then who's the baby crying? Come on, go for that. Shit! Failed critical, failed critical. Was that his ball sack? Whoosh! That is a lot of damage! That's a lot of damage! Jeez! I'm out here thinking, oh, okay. Uh, eh. Slight hiccup. No. What was that damage? I'm running out of embers. After I beat this boss, this, there's a NPC I need to tend to. The one that's being trapped in the jail cell. Oh shit, I forgot to turn into a dragon. I'll turn into a dragon on the elevator, it's fine. That damage was abysmal. Holy. What? I did not expect it. <laughs> and I was doing so good too. I was like, oh, okay. It's fine, it's fine. It's whatever. I'm gonna get through that pretty easily, pretty quickly. It is what it is. Wow. You know, it reminds me of which... What boss was this? There's like a, a specific boss. I think it was a Bloodborne boss. Oh yeah, the watch, the watchdog of the old gods. Bro, that that dog had a crazy charge. The insane amount of damage. Actually, found it ridiculous that an NPC could do or a boss could do that much damage. Why is he ho I just realized he's holding. He's holding an invisible child. Ah. Dear little Ocelot. Where have you gone? Are you hiding from me? Come out. Come out. Don't be afraid. Oh, what is up with this? Child of dragons. What could you possibly fear? Now, now. Show yourself, Ocelot. My dear little Ocelot. Alright, reset Ocelot. the frog. Right, good shit. Was he already frost prob? Now he's frog. Alright, reset the frog. Uh huh. Hey man, right now it's dra- Ooh, Okay. Get me out of here, get me out of here, get me out of here! Hey man, it's dragon versus dragon. You know how we do. Okay. You definitely move a certain way. Congratulations. You caught me off guard. Congratulations. Uh. 
I did better than the last one. So, actually, yeah, hold on. It's not gonna, it's not gonna take me a long time to go where I need to go. Where's the high wall? Tower on the wall. I just need to go free that guy to see what's going on. Because he's been in the prison since the very beginning of the game. And I've wanted to free him. I just haven't been able to. So I feel bad. So I need to go free him. So I'm going to go free him. Plus, it's not like I'm going to die. So I can still go get my uh, souls. Okay, we're not about to do this. I just said I'm not gonna die. I just said I'm not going to die. So let's try to keep it that way. Right. Go on, you're free! Ah. You're no jailer, are you? No. No, I am your from savior. Far away. And judging by the bell. What bell? You must be some of that unkindled ash. What bell? Remarkable. If that's true, then I have a favor to ask. Mm -hmm. Below the high wall is a musty little town. Not the home of any lord, just a, a very old settlement. The of undead, undead settlement, all right. An yeah, what about it? Woman, Loretta. Loretta? I have Loretta's there. bone. Please, I, I, I'm not asking for charity. In fact, in fact, if you do this for me, I'll be sure to repay you in kind. Um, I, I may be a petty thief, but I've more wits than most royalty. What do you say? Very well. Sure. I, I am Grey Rat of the Undead Settle. Give this ring to old Loretta at the base of the high wall. Do your part. Um, uh, who's gonna tell them? Uh, I guess I have to tell them. Thank you for the ring, though. Appreciate it, gang. What does it do? Increase damage absorption when HP is low. See, that sounds useful. Recover HP. Boost pyromancies. I don't know. Alright. So we got what we came for. Let me just use the homeward bone. Let's go talk to that guy, give him Loretta's bone, and be like, oh yeah, by the way, she's dead. I uh, hate to break it to you. That sucks, man. I really set you free just to bring you the bad news that the girl that you, I guess, have feelings for is dead. That's tough. Where are you, anyways? What is that Scooby do? Coming after you. Alright, there we go. I'm still so tight, the fact that I didn't get, um... A trophy for fully upgrading this weapon. Plus five, it's the max for this weapon. And the game was like, oh, we'll give you a trophy if you max max upgrade a weapon. Oh, is it talking about like a regular weapon like my Uchi Katana? It is plus eight. So. Oh, hell, I mean, when, whatever just don't ask me where I'm... Heavens, she was already dead. Yep. Thank you. I, I'm not surprised, though. At least you understand. Almost a relief, really. Hmm? You can keep the ring as... All right. <laughs> okay, so what do you sell? Three embers. Nice. I'm not gonna lie, my G. You sell nothing but straight ass. 
What are we doing? Only thing that of yours that is worth anything is the ember. You sell straight cheeks. I'm actually disgusted. I am disgusted. You sell booty. You can keep us. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> can you not go steal some new shit? Please, I beg of you. How do you have a store with nothing worth buying? That's, that's crazy. That's crazy. Alright, anyways. Where was I? Time to go actually beat the boss. Instead of all the the stalling that I've been doing. Haha, -ha, you caught me. Uh, I've been stalling this whole time. <laughs> I've been stalling this whole time. Actually, hold on. Give me a second. Let me check something. Load shedding schedule. Will my power leave at midnight? No, it will not. What's the date today? It's the 12th. Oh, yeah, we have time. We have time. I want to use this this specific uh, live stream to just burn through all the NPCs, not the NPCs, all the missed bosses. Cause maybe tomorrow, I think tomorrow will be the time when I fight the Lord of Cinder, and then I get the trophy for beating him. I don't know if I want to try strive for strive to get a platinum trophy on the live stream. Kind of like what I did with Sekiro and Elden Ring. Bloodborne was the Souls game that I did not stream my Platinum Journey for. Simply because I didn't want anybody to sit around and watch me do the Chalice Dungeons. Because nobody likes the Chalice Dungeons, so... Yeah, there was that. But I don't know if I might... I might actually just stream my Platinum Journey for Dark Souls 3. Maybe. I'm still iffy about it. I've already done it for two Soulsborns, so why not? Why not keep it going? Ah! Whoa! Wow, okay. That swing was not what I anticipated. That wind-up caught me off guard. Actually, yo, I have a complaint. After this boss fight, I need to... I need to ex express my complaint. Dear Lord, where have you gone? Are you hiding from me? Come out. Come out. Awesome. Alright. Alright, we get it, you're angry. Whoa, okay! This man is adding new moves to his roster. Oh my goodness. Damn, bro. I'm not gonna lie. That jump definitely catches me off guard.
Get his nutsack out my face! Alright. How quickly do you forget? Alright. Fighting this boss made me realize I think I now prefer prefer. I think I now prefer uh older Souls games to Elden Ring. Reason why I'm saying this and I remember watching a video earlier on in the very beginning. Actually, not in the very beginning. Like, I think it was like a week or a month ago. No, it was like two weeks ago. I was watching a video of somebody explaining why all Soulsborne... Not all Soulsborne. All Elden Ring bosses are badly designed. And his justification to for it was the fact that every single boss in Elden Ring moves unnaturally slow. Right? What their body telegraphs and what they actually do do not correlate. Some bosses, that's the case, but every boss is unnaturally slow to a fault. So I thought maybe he's just bugging. Maybe this is just a skill issue, right? Because when I fought Morgoth, he especially used Morgoth as an example for this. Wow, nice, nice. Awesome, awesome sauce. He used Morgoth as an example of how slow... Um, all bosses are. And again, at first I thought he was bugging. Until I recently, before I started the live stream, I decided to do an Elden Ring uh, playthrough. Like a blind, uh, I wouldn't say a blind playthrough, but just a blank, that's the term, the blank playthrough. Start from scratch, everything, I decided to go fight Morgoth. I'm fighting him, and he, this guy was right. The swing speed of Morgoth is actually, it's stupid slow. It's dumb. The wind up is unnatural. Of course, your body, and this is again the argument that he made, where if you see an enemy move their body in a specific way and you know when they're, well, you know where they're going to attack, you instinctually see, okay, in a real life fight, and again, I know this is not a real life fight, but if you see somebody swing or raise up their arm to swing, you know they're going to swing within a specific time frame. And that's why you dodge in advance. Morgoth will hold his weapon up for like 10 seconds. Uh, of course, this is an over-exaggeration. But he'll hold his weapon up for so long before he swings. It's so unnatural that it ruins the flow of the battle. Compared to other Souls games where enemies are moving... Well, the speed that which they move at makes sense sometimes. And that's what I hate the most about Elden Ring. I say this all the time. I hate delayed attacks. In every single live stream, when an, in a, uh, when an enemy has hit me with a delayed attack, I've verbalized how much I hate wind-up attacks. They're so dumb. And yet now, seemingly, Morgoth is the biggest... Wow, damn. Morgoth is the biggest victim. Oh, you're not the biggest victim. He's the biggest perp of wind-up attacks. Every single move he does is a wind-up. So, yeah, when they were talking about, uh, Elden Ring has bad boss design because all the enemies are slow, unnaturally so, I see where he's coming from, and fuck, I agree. Especially Morgoth. Morgoth has no business being as slow as he is. And maybe that's why I liked bosses like Ludwig, uh, Ludwig the Accursed, and Marie of the Astral Clock Tower, uh, Orphan of Kos, sort of. Orphan of Kos, and I'm trying to think of other bosses that had faster. Ooh, Sword Saint Ishin. Actually, just every Sekiro boss. I think that's why I really enjoyed them, because they were actually fast. Wow. I like when a character can actually move, when what their body's telegraphing is what actually gets done. I like that. I like that a lot. What I don't like is when, oh my goodness, what I don't like is when a boss waits 3,000 years to actually swing. When they lift up their weapon and they be like, Ugh! like no, that's ass. They swing their weapons slower than a greatsword. I maybe Melania is actually up to my pace. I need to go refight Melania. 
to see if her boss fight is what I need. Because the speed at which Melania moved, I enjoyed it. I was like, oh, okay, this makes sense. When she swings, it actually swings. Melania does not have that many windups. To my knowledge. Holding the baby, though. You were born a child of dragons. What could you possibly fear? No. No. Oh, that's not oh, fair. Sarah. You had a sh All right. Come on, do the tail swing. Oh my goodness, I did not know. Why can he sprint from such an idle position? Wow. Look at that! He... <laughs> He hit me in the face with his knee, and apparently that just put me out of commission. That shit just made me go to sleep. Alright. Fine. Bruh. And you see, I don't want to use my embers, right? Because I want to save up my embers for the Nameless King. From what I've heard, he's definitely worth all those embers. So I need to save them. I can't keep wasting them on this boss who knees me in the face one time and I go to bed so quick. Uh oh. All right. Um. This seems like the safer route. Yeah, it seems like the safer and faster route too. <gasps> Whoa, she's. Bro, the match just began. What are you doing? All right, so it's three hits. It's three hits to frostbite him. One, two, three. Dear little astronaut. Where have you oh, oh, wow, wow. Are you hiding from me? Come on, you were born a child of dragons. What could you possibly fear? No. Reset no. the prog. Shoot. Oh, sir. One, two, three. Reset the prog. One, two, three. Ah! Okay. I got too excited. I got too excited. Jesus Christ! Whoa, jeez! That charge just does so much damage. Uh... 
<sighs> that charge is actually dumb. But hey, Pyromancy plus Ice Sword, I will keep preaching this. It is the best. It's the best matchup in the entire game. Instant Faith? Yeah. No, sorry, Instant Strength. Because all you do is just frostbite somebody, prog them, or like reverse the proc by burning them, and then you just keep going. Just keep it up. Wow, haha, -ha, lovely, lovely. Absolutely lovely. Imps. Don't you just love them? Huh, turning into a dragon changed my eye color. My eye color was blue. It's not brown. That that hurt me. Oh, okay. Hopefully it's not too much. Just to create some distance. All right. Ah, uh, where have you come? You were born a child of dragons. What could you possibly fear? No, no. Show yourself, Ocelot. Come on, My dear little Ocelot. Here we go. Yep, saw that one coming. Look at this, bro. Look at how... Yo, the way he's able to just go from idle to sprint... There's no indication at all that he's about to charge. Straight from honest to uh, straight from idle to full charge. That's that's wow. That's mm, okay. And I thought it was gonna be easier. I thought it was like, oh, okay, because he can frost bright. Pro I can prog him in three hits. This shouldn't be much of a problem. I was wrong. Like, like, going down the stairs is just a... Huh? Okay. Looks like we have the green arrow over here. It is what it is. Let's try again. This time, we'll do it. I have hope. I have faith in myself. I have faith. This boss cannot... It will not beat me. It will... It will not control the way I move. All I really need against that move is just damage absorption. Damage absorption is what I need. Because again, the amount of damage that one move does is actually ridiculous. Wow. Oh. 
All right, let's let's start from scratch. Hi, my name is Sarosh. Ah, dear little Ocelot, where have you gone? Are you hiding from me? Come out, come out. Don't be afraid. You were born a child of dragons. What could you possibly fear? Now, now. Show yourself, Ocelot. Ocelot! Oh. I don't know how I didn't get hit by that, but hey, I'll, I t I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. Ooh, my stamina, my stamina. Oh, he went from a dive into a sprint. Look at that sprint speed. Ooh. Yeah, I know. I'm not gonna lie. I'm doomed. I'm doomed. I'm out of stamina. I'm dead. Why are you spamming? Okay. Whew. Come on. Okay, GG's. <laughs> GG's. Let's go. Thank you for the trophy. Ooh, GG's. I don't understand why he was spamming that move though. I genuinely don't understand why he was spamming that. Give me a second and... Do you ever have those moments where like you forget to eat and it's not even just because like you don't want to eat or you don't have the appetite to you just forget to sometimes i'd be telling my friends that like we just sometimes like my friends and i do checkups on each other just to make sure we're doing good and sometimes i'll ask oh did you eat i'm like damn i forgot to eat i sometimes i just forget to eat that day Hmm. It would be nice if you could buy slabs every single time just to, you know. Fashion one. Like 30,000 per slab. Perfectly fine with that. Gavin, thank you for the. <laughs> Thank you for the GG. Oh, do you... Do I want to buy these spells or do I want to level up? I'll buy the spells. These are dark tales of things that lurk deep within men. 
These stories would not please you. Of course, if only the little creatures. Now, I can buy most of these. I'm not gonna buy these these spells until I have enough to do so. Godspeed, me. Cause I also want to make sure I buy all the the thingies. What are these things called? I want to make sure I give her all the books. So I need to find all books, give them to her. Then once I've given them all to her, both good and bad books, then I'll master all of that shit. As for the because again, if you learn too many dark spells, well, she gets afraid and then she runs away. So then who am I gonna give it to since she's blind and she's she's the only blind person who can read for me So yeah Ashen one Whew. That was a fun boss though. The only thing I didn't like was the, the the dash move. Oh my god, the fact that you could go from idle to dash. Zero to a hundred real quick. Also I need to find uh what is these things called? Tight night slab. I need to buy. I need to find at least one. It would be nice if I could find two. And if I could find two, then I'd use one for my flame hand, and then the other one for the uchi katana. Wait, why does it bleed? Please don't jump me. That neck though. Oh, you're a reptile, that's why. But still that neck though. Path of the dragon. <gasps> so this is how I fight. Time for gesture. This is how I'm gonna fight that, uh, that one guy. Fog wall ahead. Chest ahead. And then be aware of illusionary wall. Alright, thank you. Tight night scale, thank you. What's his name? The name is... <laughs> it's actually funny. I find it hilarious when you actually forget the name of the nameless king. You're like, what's that one guy's name? What's his name? Uh, oh yeah, the Nameless King. Like, literally, you're not meant to remember who he is. So, yeah, I like that. I like <laughs> Good naming. Be wary of bloody expensive. Beware of bloody expensive. Be wary. Alright. This place again? Question mark? Monster ahead. This place looks nice. It's, it's a little dark, but it's nice. Time for dark. The untended. Thank you for the trophy. Why is there a trophy for finding this? Is it like, wait. Was there a trophy for finding the Halic tree in Elden Ring? I know there were trophies in Bloodborne for finding certain areas. There was a trophy in Sekiro for finding every area. I don't know if there was a trophy for finding the Halic Tree in... Uh, let's see. Elden Ring. Trophies. Trophy Guide. I don't know if there was a trophy for finding the Halic Tree. I feel like there was. Which is weird, because I platinum this game. I should remember. Okay.
I don't think there was. Wow. A lot of them are just collectibles and bosses. Yeah, hold on. I'm almost done checking through. Okay, so there's one for the round table, but that doesn't really mean shit. Where is Earth Tree of Flame? Oh, set the Earth Tree on fire? Okay. Yeah. Never mind, I take back my statement. There is no trophy in Elden Ring that has to do with you finding a specific location. Shivering Stone. Oh, Shriving Stone, my bad. This place looks massive. And it's dark as shit as well. What was that noise? You know what? It's fine. Whatever ops... I will handle them. Okay, never mind. They handled me. I thought I could beat him with a small catch flame. Wow, okay. Okay, this black fireball... Seems useful. I hope it doesn't scale off of intelligence, though. You're gonna be brutally molested by 16 autistic clowns. That's basically how I felt walking into this area. Goddamn. There we go. Bro, because this place is dark, I feel like I can get jump scared so easy. Wait, isn't this the beginning of the game? Ah, I see now. Be weary of left. I see now. It makes sense why that one person typed on the ground. This place again. Because we've literally been here before. This is the tutorial area of the game. Ah! But in the beginning of the game, you start off on the right. Okay, now it makes sense. Ashen Estes ring. I saw Estes. My curiosity was peaked. Increase FP. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. All right. All right. Wahahao! 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 Somehow my first hit just completely missed them. I just got. Yeah, I got damaged. Alright. It's like, this is my most used ability in the entire game. Just having the ability to turn into a dragon. One, two, three, four. Then you're gonna attack back. Yep. Since you got the Path of the Dragon emo, all you have to do is go to the... The dungeon, I know what you the Lothric dungeon, and then, yeah, I know where to do the emote, I just didn't know how to get the emote.
Oh, ah. That was a close one. Haha, -ha, that was a close one. I actually thought I was gonna die there. Why are these dogs just... Death dogs. Titanite chunk. Appreciate it. Alright. So before I go there, there is something here that I need to explore. Oh, and not two of them? See, I can handle one. I'm not too sure about handling two. Yeah, I'm not too sure about handling two. Oh, okay. Actually... I am glad that they are somewhat separated. Yeah, they are pretty resistant to... Good shit. Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah. Back attacks definitely do a lot more damage. They definitely do a lot more damage. Why did I doubt myself thinking I wouldn't be able to? Crystal monsters, they're so pretty, also high. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing good. You see, I thought I wasn't going to be able to fight both of them, but hey. I'm glad they were open to the idea of separating themselves. Trying to be fair. They tried to be fair. It wasn't fair, but they tried to. Titanite scale. What do you use that for? Oh, yeah. Imp oh, boss weapons. Again. You see, every... Do you know what I've noticed? Every single time I play older Souls games, it helps me appreciate... Elden Ring more. While there are some things that I can criticize more about Elden Ring, there are also stuff that I appreciate more about Elden Ring. For instance, I'm so glad in Elden Ring now when you get a boss weapon, it scales off of sombering, uh, somber smithing stones, similar to this weapon. So it's not like three different classes of weapons. Like Titanite Shard, and then... When you use these type of weapons, they use their own Titanite system, the Twinkling Titanites, and then there's other ones that use Titanite scales. I'm so glad they're not like three separate classes. The specific types of weapons that use Smithing Stones, and then the specific class that use Somber Smithing Stones. And I'm so glad they did that. Amen to that. Because if I had to deal with this all the time, why is it so goddamn dark? All the t if I had to deal with this all the time, I'd be tired. <clears throat> totally not creepy. Oh, hello. Didn't notice you there. Bonfire? Yeah, there's supposed to be a bonfire over here. Ooh, okay. What? <laughs> Lovely. All right, let's go fight that boss. Whatever boss it is, I know I will be able to handle it. I have faith in myself. Boss time, yes. D 
Damn, that guy's swinging with force. He's still chasing? He's not chasing. He's still chasing! What the hell's a hidden blessing? Actually, who knows? I don't care. I'll find out later. Hidden blessing. I've never seen NPC so persistent. One NPC just jumped into... <laughs> he just jumped into the void. Can you not push me into the void though? Thank you. Appreciate it. Why are they just jumping into the void? What's in the void? Is this the same boss again? Alright. Catch flame. Yep, I'm confident in this boss. I am confident I can beat this boss. Yep. Oh, that was a good one. Yep. Oh, good. Golly. Like... He doesn't do a lot of damage. <laughs> uh, not not he doesn't do a lot of damage. He's slow. But it, the damage the <laughs> the hits that do hits do damage. Oh god. Yeah, I just need to find the right time to heal. Yep. Yeah, that was a mistimed roll. Did I bet on the wrong horse? For the first attempt, yes, you did. Piss question. <laughs> For the first attempt, yes, you did. But trust, trust, trust. Second attempt, it won't be... It won't end up the same way. I just had to remember. He's basically the same boss as... He's literally the first boss of the game. Just with uh, what happened to the no death run. When did I say I was going to do a no death run? I said I was impressed by people who can do no death runs. And even more impressed by people who can do no hit runs. I never said I was going to do either of those. You are sadly mistaken. Like, did you see the damage that this guy was doing? And do you know what's crazy? He's... Why not? Because it's a Souls game. What's crazy about this guy... Is the damage he deals. Ooh, Black Knight Fleet. Like, the, the uh, attacks that he does are slow. But when they hit, they hit. That didn't kick me, though. That kick didn't hit me though. Alright, he's frostbitten. Yep. Oh, time to back up to heal. I don't know how that went over my head, but I'll take it. Ooh. Why do they defrost? Oh, do they defrost if you use fire and ice on them? Yes, yes they do. Oh, nice kick. Yep. 
Yeah, so if I frost them and then I immediately go for a uh, fire, then it immediately. Ooh. It immediately. Uh, what's this? Defrost them. So I can refrost them again. Damn! Why wouldn't. Why wasn't he getting up? Why wasn't he getting up? I was literally tapping circle. Okay, no, it's fine, it's fine. I was tapping circle and he just didn't want to get up. He, he got kicked once, he was like, hey, actually, I don't know if I want to get up anymore. Let me just pretend like I was dead. Like, that kick really hurt him and it hurt his soul. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think there's any other combination you could do in this game. Where, for example, you can frostbite somebody, remove the frostbite with fire, and then just keep going, rinse and repeat. I don't think there's any other tag team like that in any From Software game. None that I can think of. Because you can do the same thing in Elden Ring, where you can free somebody and then you can burn them in order to reset the freeze and then you can just rinse and repeat. I, again, I don't think that exists for Elden Ring or for any other from or any other elements. Which just makes fire and ice so special if you think about it. One, two, three. Aha. Uh -huh. flame. Aha. Uh -huh. Reset the prom. Where are my souls? One. Alright. Champion Gundia. One, two, three. Catch flame. One, two, three. Catch flame. Shit. Missed. Oh! Okay, I did not know he could do that. But I can definitely see myself beating him in under 10 attempts, yeah. Ah. That was like what, the third attempt? Yeah, it was the third attempt. I can beat him. Now we wait. Trust me, this boss is not gonna take uh, a long time. What, he frosts in three hits. All I need to do is, after that, get an opportunity to hit him with some fire. Which I can do. And then after I hit him with some fire, just keep going. Need to get some openings to hit him three more times. And rinse and repeat. It's the easiest combo in the entire game. It's the easiest uh, set. I don't understand why it's so <laughs> why it's so easy to prog. Some NPCs are just so easy to, you know, frostbite. I guess they don't have that much of a resistance. There are my souls. All right. One, two. Alright, good shit. Where are my souls? Where are my souls? There we go. Alright. One, two, three. Alright. Good kick. I need to reset the frostbite now. Catch flame, yep. One, two. Three. Yep. Got it. Now I just need to... Catch flame. Yep. One. Ooh. What? Uh-huh. I forgot it's three hits. D 
damn, bro, that shoulder bump. <laughs> that shoulder bump is actually pretty impressive, bro. Ooh, if I could deal. If I could hit somebody with that. Uh, enemies lose more stamina when gardening. It's like, okay. If I could hit somebody in real life with a shoulder guard like that. Oh, that would do so much damage. It's like a rugby tackle. Okay. And now we do it again. How many embers am I willing to waste? Sure, I'll waste one. I'll waste one for this fight because to be honest, I feel like I can beat the boss without it. But it just makes things easier. It makes things more convenient by having more health. So, yeah. No! Why? Why? Why am I being invaded? Really? Now of all times, I'm getting invaded by a random MP- By a random person, too! The one time I decide to use my thingy. Okay, thank goodness. Could be that goon again from the last time. No, it's a different goon this time. But luckily they went home. The moment I entered the boss fight, they decided to leave. Why were they even here? That's my question. I'm actually... They better run. I'm actually curious to invade some people of my own, right? I think after we get to a certain point... Let's try invade people. I thought I thought I had enough time to dodge that. Yo, he is so aggressive. Wow. I like it. Ow. Alright, I don't need to focus on healing. Okay, GG's. Thank you for the trophy. See, under 10 attempts. Oh. All right, let's go level up. Cemetery of Ash. That was pretty fun. I like that. I like it when bosses move fast. Because I'm so used to Sekiro. Where the bosses literally... They're just in your face. Like they're constantly swinging at you. You're fighting for your life. I like that. So now when I'm playing this game. Or I'm playing any other From Software game. And the bosses decide to move fast. Then I'm like, this is what I'm used to. This is what I like. Emit Crystal Breath. From Seath the Scaleless. Isn't Seath the Scaleless a boss from Dark Souls 2? I think. Seath... The Scaleless. Or is he from Dark Souls 3? Oh, he's a boss in Dark Souls 1. Okay, so this is a spell from him. Hmm... What other weapon is there? The Moonlight Greatsword. So... What is this? B 
Bro, the Moonlight Greatsword. This is that one weapon. Because like every From Software game has specific weapons that carry on into every single game, right? Of course, there's like the, the classic medieval weapons like a uh, broadsword, etc, etc. Moon, And then there's like the Uchi Katana. The Uchi Katana carries over into every single soft, From Software game with the exception of being Sekiro. And Guts Greatsword. There's also one that carries on into every single From Software game. Moonlight Greatsword. 100%. So do you know what I'm gonna do? Even though I don't have the intelligence to wield it yet, I'm gonna still get it. Either the cleave... What is this? Increases vigor, endurance, and vitality, but you take more damage. Oh, so this is like, uh, Radagon's Scar Seal. Or is it the Radagon Sword Seal from Elden Ring? Alright. I'll take that. Do I want the cleave? I will take this ring instead. Thank you. Appreciate it. So what was it? Highest strength, endurance, and... Where is it? These bosses are... Higher health. So more health, endurance, and vitality. See, Vitality is the only one that kind of like made... If it was like more health, endurance, and atonement, attunement, then I would have been like, yay. But the fact that it's Vitality, Vitality is it's mid. I don't need to carry more things, you know. I pop those. Oh yeah, there's somebody I need to buy things from. Baby girl, where are you? What a baby girl. Away to Link, think not on thy fears. The dark sigil will guide thee. Link the fire. Okay, the things that I need to buy. This, 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 and this. And uh, how many can I buy? Oh, you buy these things, so uh, okay. I already bought this, didn't I? And then I gave it to the blind girl. Yeah, I did. So I bought everything I need to. I don't need her anymore. Our Lord knows thou she is a fool. Oh yeah, you're trying to hook me up with your friend. Okay, the dark fist. And then its move is, uh, what is it? Uh, if I punch somebody with that, I steal their life force. Oh, and this is a shield? A dark shield. Being able to steal somebody's health with that fist feels like it's going to be useful the only problem I have with this is the fact... 88. Oh yeah, okay. So the only problem I have with the Dark Fist is the fact that the wind-up is so long. So if a wind-up is as long as it is, I feel like any NPC or any boss will just move out of the way. Maybe you'll find a boss who will stand still long enough for, for you to beginning. hit them with, but... Very well, right. then take no Uh, let's see, what will I upgrade? My... Kinda wanna increase my intelligence. What does the Dark Moon Greatsword need again? I think it needs like 25. How much do I have? 21. So I need 4 levels. Very well, then take... 
four levels and then we're good. Then I can focus everything on dexterity again. Ashen one. Right? Yeah. Oh, never mind. I need. Yeah, yeah. Four levels. Let's see how the Dark Moon Greatsword looks like in this game, though. Huh. Doesn't look as moonlighty as it does in the game. Oh, and of course, like, if I had, if I had, uh, enough intelligence to wield, to wield this weapon, then it would, like, glow every single time I did that move. Yeah, okay. I can't use it for now, but, eh. And then Gut Sword. Gut Sword is so cool. Anyways. That's besides the point. Let us go back to Champion Gundir. What we do here is go back, 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 back. All right. Um. No. Hold on. Shit. Something. My bad. Something on my laptop happened. Need to reset it real quick. All right. There we go. Praise the victory. Let there be eliminating one at a time. Now let now the real fight begins. The real fight begins. That is an interesting phrase. Now the real fight begins. Who am I going to be fighting? I just hope I don't These are the type of knights that fight with lightning, so... And I'm a dragon, so... Uh, I'm not built for this. Haha. -ha. I hear another... Yep. He's approaching me. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Ooh, what is this item? It looks so big and bright. A chaos blade. Da it's because of the wind up. That's oh, fine. It's cool. It's whatever. Six thousand. Six thousand is a whatever. You know, it's a whatever price. But damn, these guys hit hard. They, bro, they really went down for me. Okay, so chaos. And I like that you find it in the same place that you found the Uchi Katana. It also has bleed. Wait, what does chaos do again? Uh, what's the difference between chaos and, was it fire in Dark Souls 3? Yeah, it is. Okay, chaos weapons lower the physical damage and fire base damage. But with 10 humanity, the scaling increases the fire damage. Thing. Huh, that's a lot of reading and no... No understanding. What does Chaos Damage do in Dark Souls 3? Chaos weapons inflict fire damage and scale with intelligence and faith. Aha! 
Also adds faith scaling to innate lightning damage. Okay. How fast does it swing, though? Ugh, it's... It swings the same speed as the Uchi Katana. While also... Dealing... So it swings the same speed. Takes the same amount of... Uh, endurance. Or stamina. To swing it. With the plus side being, oh, it does bleed and fire. I don't give a fuck. I'd rather go with my ultimate combo of fire and ice. Oh, wow, it does fire damage, so that makes it better. Bro, give me the Chikage from Bloodborne. Well, give me the Rivers of Blood. The Rivers of Blood is a good katana that does bleed and fire. Which is actually pretty broken if you think about it. Why does it do bleed and fire? That's a lot for a katana. Hello. Hornet ring. Damn. Y'all niggas are a bit too aggressive for my liking. Ooh, what's this? Coiled Sword Fragment. Visions of Fire. All more Visions of Ash. Alright. We'll explore this place properly. So yeah, this is basically just the round hole, round table hold. Nothing interesting going on in here except for that coiled sword. First I need to find out what that fragment even does. You don't deserve this. Oh, this is that one magician sorcerer that died. Oh, seems like those NPCs just off themselves. Saints ahead. Ah, love. These characters be typing the strangest sentences in these locations. Illusionary wall ahead. You're lying. Treasure ahead. Never mind. I take back my... Hidden path ahead. Eyes of a fire keeper. You know what? I doubted you. So, let me applaud that message. I apologize. I'm just so used to Soulsborn fans telling, feeding me bullshit, lying to me constantly, that I just assumed that it was a lie. So, yeah. This game has given me some trust issues. Especially when an area doesn't look like it's gonna have a hidden path. All of a sudden you're telling me, hidden path ahead. Alright, bro. I totally believe you. Time for a tongue. Oh, she's here. Well, fancy that. A lost lamb wandereth in with nary a peep from the bell. What bell? Well, thou shouldst my purpose know. What can this owe? Yeah, what are you what are you selling? Alright, I'll buy that. Increases faith. Wolf Knight. This outfit looks familiar. Oh no, I need to come back and buy this. A tower key. Alright. Yo, this outfit looks so familiar. It looks like the... Is it the cover for Dark Souls 1? Dark Souls 1 game cover. It's like the box art. No, it's not this guy. Is it the DLC then? I think it was the DLC. Yes, it's the Dark Souls DLC cover. 
Uh, yeah, it's the Prepare to Die edition. <laughs> That's actually crazy that a game has... A game, synonymous for being difficult, has a, a DLC titled Prepare to Die. Or like the Prepare to Die edition. Because <laughs> they just know you're going to be fucked up. But yeah. And I'm pretty sure the pose that this, this knight wears. Like when you wear all of it, right? The pose is inspired by Guts from Berserk. And coincidentally enough, it's also known as the Wolf Knight Gauntlet. That is so cool. Best not to. You know what? I I'm going to try to get that. Blacksmith hammer. Is that a weapon I can fight with? Or can I give it to the blacksmith? Uh, here it is. Perseverance. All right. Pretty solid. Not much I can say about it. All right, I'm going What does this do? Return to last bonfire rested at or shrine. Oh, it has unlimited uses, so it's basically the homeward bone, but unlimited uses. Oh, okay, okay. But apparently, you can give it away to what is the name? P. What is the name of that weird bird? Alright, let me search my, my browser history. That you, you, me, me, Trumpetum. Like, I, I forgot the name of that, that small thing. What it's Pickle Pea, that's what it's called. Pumperum. Pickle Pea Pumperum Crow. So if you give it that coiled thing, what does it give you again? A Titanite slab. Before I give it away, let me first see if I can find any Titanite slabs. Yeah. Yeah. Let me first look around. I don't want to give it away and then just realize that, oh shit, I regret my decision. What? Let me sell this. What? what? Let me see what items I can sell to buy that armor. I don't need the bombs. I'm not a bomb guy myself. Lightning urn. Uh, I don't need the shit. Applies magic, dark poison, bleed. Attract certain enemies. I don't need that. Prevents Estus recovery within a certain limited area. This would be good in PvP when you invade someone else's world. Um, uh, probably gonna need that eventually. What else can I give? Up? There's a lot of weapons I need to give away. Actually, now that I think about it. Uh, let's see, twenty. No. Do I have a duplicate of any spell? No, I do not. Uh, they're both long swords. Let me sell one. I don't want to have dual of any weapon. All right, these are two different axes. Uh, all right, spike mace. Damn, I am in a very tough situation. I am in a very tough situation. Ooh, armor. I forgot I can give that. I can sell armor to buy armor. Good trade-off. I 
Oh yeah, I was supposed to be doing somebody's side quest. That fat guy. The onion guy. Apparently I was supposed to be doing like onion guy's quest. Where I kill patches and then I, I, well, I buy the armor. And then I give it back to the owner. But I don't know where that guy is, so. And unfortunately, I am not about to look for him. I am too lazy for that. Or if we find him, we'll find him. Let, let that be the mentality. If we find him, we'll find him. The Nameless King's leggings. Leggings of the Nameless Knight. Oh, okay. Okay, what else can I give away? And it's crazy, because... I'm really about to buy armor that I know I'm not going to wear. Damn, now these... This armor is expensive. This armor is expensive. 10, 20, 30... 46,000! Best not? <laughs> Where am I gonna get 46,000 just for drip? Just for drip, mind you. 46,000 for drip. But hey... I'll, I'll come back for it, I'll get that armor. Just cause it looks cool. Okay, time to go fight the Nameless King. Nameless King. Uh, the Nameless King, I get there through the cat... No, not the catacombs. E3O dungeon, yeah. Oh, all right. Time for one of the hardest bosses. Am I excited? Yes. Am I nervous? A little bit. You're gonna fight the name. You're gonna fight the nameless king with that little health. Yes, yes I am. I've fought every other boss with this health, so yes I am. I have like 20 vigor. I know it's recommended that I have more, but hey, it's good enough. Impressive, thank you. We'll see what happens. Plus, if if it really is that bad, then I'll just pop an ember. Ah, ah, ah oh. Let me pop one in advance. I heard he's very, uh, what's this? Aggressive and relentless. So, if I were to pop it in the middle of the fight, you're fighting the giant? What giant? Yorm? I already fought Yorm. Alright, what emote is it? Path of the Dragon. 
two, three, four, five. There we go. And doing this as a dragon too. <laughs> Bro, the embers, like the fire coursing through my body. Oh, that, oh, that looks so nice. Oh, it looks so nice. Okay. We'll see. Flash sweat. Increases fire damage absorption. Okay, sh I just realized I don't have that ring. Apparently, like, there's a ring that um, increases your durability. Oh, your, your lightning absorption. Yeah, it increases your light lightning absorption. Problem is... The Nameless King fights primarily with lightning, right? Am I... Or is that only phase two? Either ways. That is... Uh, that's gonna be a problem. Damn! Thank you for the trophy, though. Alright, there's gonna... There has to be a bonfire nearby. Also, how did I teleport here? Both phases, I believe, fight with lightning. Oh, and I'm a dragon. Oh, great. Oh, lovely. Lightning gem. Look at that dragon up there. It looks so majestic. I like it. So, how did I get here? What is the lore reason behind me being in this location? What is the lore implications for you being able to throw heat-seeking fireballs? Like, I know as far as the lore goes, I remember, I think I watched this at one point in a Vati video, video, do it. Try jumping off. Oh, wow. Like, I remember watching it once in a Vati video, video. It just kind of like passed my attention. Oh, shit. I thought it was going to be a 1v1. But, there's a bonfire up the hill. Alright, thank you very much. Alright, cheer. Thank you. Damn, there goes my ember. But anyways... Back to what I was saying. I remember I came across a video by him. And I wasn't really into Dark Souls at the time. So it just kind of... Kind of grazed past my head. But apparently like the lore implications were... Along the lines of... Seat the Dragon. Was it Seat the Scaleless? And... Who else? Seat the Scaleless... And the nameless king. I think his name was Gwyn. Lord Gwyn. Or Gwendolyn or something like that. But Gwyn was part of his name. I think they formed an alliance. So because the people were at war with the dragon, with the dragons, and this guy decided to work with the dragons, they decided to shun him and remove him of his king status and make him nameless. That's why he's the Nameless King. Which, is, that's pretty cool. He's a king because he worked with the enemy. Or he's nameless because he worked with the enemy. That's basically his lore. I got buried? I'm getting swallowed! Oh, okay, never mind. I thought he was being right card. 
Also, fuck, I did not know they could do that. This might be just a good area to grind, Loki. Is this your first first Souls game? Nah, it's my fifth. First Souls game I played was Dark Souls 2, and then Sekiro Shadows died twice, Elden Ring, Bloodborne, and now Dark Souls 3. In fact, if you go back and check the live streams of this channel, you'll find you'll find all the previous uh, Souls games that we played. Right? We played Elden Ring first, we platinumed it, we got the platinum trophy. We played Sekiro, we got the platinum trophy. We played Bloodborne. I, di I did get the platinum trophy, but not on stream. And then Dark Souls 3, which I plan to get the platinum trophy for, but I don't know if I'm, I want to do that on stream, or if I'm just going to do it off stream. I think I can do it on stream, though. I have so many Titanite chunks, and I don't know what to use them on. I want to play Dark Souls 2. Uh, that was the worst Souls game I had ever played, so... I would say you're good off that, to be honest. Ow. Okay, you hit hard. I get it. How's your response to... To be honest, I, I, I'm not surprised that these NPCs have uh, weak frost resistance. They are snakes. They're cold-blooded. It makes sense why they'd be weak to frost or frostbite. I want to beat all the Dark Souls. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Then I understand. If I wanted to get a Platinum Trophy for all souls, dashing required. Ambush ahead, therefore dash. Alright. If I wanted to platinum every get the platinum trophy for every soul born, then I would definitely be doing the exact same thing. Lightning clutch ring, I think this is the one. Where is it? 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 Lightning crutch. Increases lightning attacks, but compromises for damage. Oh, shit. It's not the one I wanted. Dark Souls 2 is a hard pill to swallow. Yep, it definitely is. It's the first Souls game I haven't actually finished. I've finished every single Souls game I've played, except for Dark Souls 2. Oh, that's what they meant by ambush. Damn! Well, hello there. I'm not gonna lie, he's kind of tanky. He's kind of tanky. I wonder what he is weak to. Of course, he's weak to lightning. But what else? Because I don't have the faith for lightning. Although, I can respect... Do I want to respect though? Nah, not yet. Ancient Dragon Great Shield. Wait, isn't that the shield where like if you have it active then you gotta do parkour, you gotta do parkour to kill him. Yeah, cause he looks like he's kinda spongy. No, not spongy. He's he's the opposite of spongy. He's he's tanky. Although I do plan to fight him, though. I do plan to kill him. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. There's a lot of ember here. That many people got cooked. There's a ring ahead. Ring of Steel Protection. 
Oh my goodness, what what was that? Probably got swatted by his tail. I'll read the description for that thing later. Ah! Ancient Wyvern. Ancient Wyvern. All right, so there's a lot of strategies on how to beat him. If you beat him, um, if you beat him, you get six Titanite chunks, three Titanite scales, and three Twinklings upon death. He is weak to Frostbite. The boss on your right. Now you're going to have to run and dodge. The weakness is the head. All right, thank you very much for that advice. Say he's weak to thrusts, lightning, and frostbite. Coincidentally, I happen to have a frostbite weapon, so good to know. Now, I need to find out what that shield was. What is it called again? Increased physical da damage absorption. This will be useful against certain bosses or certain NPCs. Because I'm not going to lie, some of these NPCs hit hard. Unusually hard. Uncomfortably hard. He's resistant to bleed, poison, fire, standard, strike, slash. Where are my souls? Bro, where are my souls? There they are. Really? Are you... <laughs> Why did it have that much of a stagger? You gotta do parkour to kill him. I don't know. Okay, first I'm gonna try fight him head on. If that fails... If that fails, I want to see how much I can... That death hurt to watch. Hey man, you try fight this dragon. <laughs> Alright, before... I need to get my souls and then get out of there. Look at this guy rolling. Why are you even here? That's my question. Why are you here? Uh oh, I'm cooked, I'm cooked, I'm cooked. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's read up on him. Ancient Wyvern drops. He drops the Dragon Headstone. What does that do? Because I have the Torso Stone. What does the Headstone do? Ah, uh, you must remove your head equipment to use the item. Your character's head will turn into a Dragon Head. Using the item after requiring... or oh, after acquiring the head... ...will breathe fire. Okay, so if I use... So doing this... ...gives me... So if I use it again, I get a roar. The roar is plus 10, or it gives damage buff for 10 seconds. If I use, if I get the head from beating this dragon, and then I use it, then it's gonna breathe fire, okay? Breathing fire, spend stamina. The dragon head, the dragon's head's horn shape. The dragon head's horn shape differs by gender. The males have twisted horns, Whereas the females have straighter horns. Ah. Uh. Okay. Okay, what you should know about fighting this dragon. Attacks deal standard damage or fire damage. Some attacks can topple the player. Oh, I know that one from experience. Hits to the head deal extra damage. Hits to the torso or the tail deal normal damage. 
Hits to the leg, deal minor damage, because yeah, he has thick thighs. Weak to thrust damage, lightning, and frostbite. Convenient that I have that weapon. Extremely vulnerable to plunging attacks. Any connecting plunging attack to the head will instantly kill him. No matter what weapon was used or how much HP is left. Resistance to toxin, bleed, fire, standard strike, and slash. Extreme, any connected plunging attack to the head will instantly kill it. What? Hold on now. That's all you had to tell me. Even bare fists will one-shot the plunging attack. Well, so even if I fight him bare-fisted... Wow! Huh. Now you see, that right there is music to my ears. That is music to my ears. You can one-shot this thing? Oh, no, no, no. We gotta try that. We gotta try that. Oh yeah, as for the shield. Hold on. Before I jump in there. Where's the shield? I'm pretty sure this shield regenerate. Yeah, very slowly regenerates HP. Alright. Unfortunately, I do not like holding shields. So... My question though, my chat is... How am I going to get above this dragon in order to do a lunging attack or a plunging attack to his head? That's the bigger question. Ow, you dickhead. Soul of the Nameless Soldier. Oh yeah, yeah. Whoever that was, he's cooked. Oh, he has the shield that heals him. Plunging attack. Yeah, cooked. Get cooked. Get cooked. Get shit on! Yeah, it's not so nice when you get attacked by a fire dragon, right? Yeah, I thought so. I thought as much. Friendly fire really is a bitch, huh? Item ahead. Thank you. Fall down, fall down. Twinkling Tight Knight. Useful, but I don't need it. This guy is really waiting for me in the stairs. Can. That's not fair, you dickhead! Now the real fight begins. Oh shit! I'm so glad that move missed. Huh, now the real fight begins. Hello there. Again, makes sense that he's weak to frostbite. He is a snake. Or he is a dragon. He's a reptile. He's cold-blooded. So... All makes sense. A plunging attack. No matter what. Instant kill. But I don't want to fight you. I just want... I, I just want whatever item is in your... Was that you or was that the dragon or was it, it was you? D he can throw his axe? Okay, scorpion.
Wow. Wow. Wow, you do a lot of damage. Thirty one thousand. Um that's not enough for me to level up. How much did I need to buy all those um pieces of armor? I think it was like forty six thousand. So I have to keep fighting. I have to keep fighting. I can't let you get close. Alright. Let's go get my souls. The way, like, it, there's a fog gate, right? So it implies boss fight. Which, there is. But this is the biggest boss fight arena I have ever witnessed. This is, like, much larger than the one reborn. Actually, the one reborn wasn't even a large boss fight, to be honest. Yeah, I'm gonna just bait everybody into being here. So that the dra- Ow. Shoot us with the fire already. What is your issue? You're still alive? Whoa, 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 whoa. What are we doing here? You was you survived that? I almost lost all my money. That actually made me panic a little bit. I almost lost all my money. Sprint, 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 sprint. Recharge. Sprint, 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 sprint. Souls retrieved. Nigeran da yo. Nigeran. Nigeru! Nigeru! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm really like climbing to Mount Everest. Oh. It's gonna be a problem. I need to make it. I need to make it through. Where's his head? There it is! Weakness. Head. Bro, put your head down. Hit. Oh, yes, sir! Thank you for the trophy. That was fun. <laughs> that was... Huh? Where are you taking me? That was fun. That felt like killing the giant serpents in Sekiro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> Dark Souls 3 is actually a really fun game. Except for the Grand Archives. Aside from the Grand Archives, this game overall, I really like it. It's such a nice game. It's a fun game. Alright. What does... Way of the White... Link to other people's world. Restore the link to other worlds. Oh, okay. Lose soul and return to bonfire. Uh, no... That's not necessary. I want to switch this with the coil. And then let's put the dragon head here. And let's see what the dragon head does. Oh yeah, because my head is already a dragon. How do I hold it? Is there any way for me to hold it? Ah, there we go. Yoga fire. Yoga flame. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> that, that, 
and it's so cool because it only consumes stamina. So that that's pretty nice. I like that. Let me quickly go back to where the boss fight was. I don't know who I'm gonna use that against, but yeah, the ability to br like I'm not gonna use it against the fire boss, the fine the final boss of the game. Uh, what is he called again? It's not the kindled. Whatever his name is. Hundred thousand. So there's a location I need to travel to. First, let me buy all the armor. After I buy all the armor, buy all the armor, and uh, I will then use the rest of it to upgrade my intelligence so that I can wield the Moonlight Greatsword. And after that, Dexterity. Soul of Cinder is the fight of the boss. Thank you very much. That's his name. I don't know. I, I thought something else that had to do with Kindle. But yeah, I'm not going to use my fire breath against him. I already attempted to fight him once, and he cooked me. But to be fair, he only cooked me because I had the wrong weapon equipped. I accidentally equipped the wrong weapon. Because I was still looking at it. I was like still admiring the weapon. Then I jumped into the boss fight, and I realized no, I still had it equipped. It, so I was like, shit. Uh-huh. 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 There we go. Best. There we go, thank you. Now I have, uh, what's the name of this guy? Is his name Atrioch? Dark Souls. A. It's, his name is not Atrioch. Wolf. What does the armor... The armor belongs to a specific person. His name. I forgot his name. I'm gonna find the... Um, Atorius. Ator, Atorius? There we go. Atorius. Thank you. Thank you very much. Atorius. Yeah. Yeah. It's so strange that I know of Atorius Ashen. without playing Dark Souls 1. He's in Dark Souls 1. He is in Dark Souls 1. Ah, I haven't played Dark Souls 1, but I know of him and Ogan Smog. Ogan Smog? What the fuck did I just say? Ornstein and Smog. I know of those two. And I haven't played Dark Souls 1. Those two are just very memorable. So I guess that's why I know them. They're very memorable NPCs or m memorable bosses, more accurately. Uh, this is the weapon I was admiring before I fought the final boss, the Lord of Cinder. And then I got cooked, no pun intended, because I was admiring that weapon. Moonlight Greatsword. Do I want to level it up? Plus two. This is a scale. Oh, they both use scales. Scale. 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 See, this is fire. Oh, it requires 26 faith. I thought it was 25. Alright, hold on. Plus 3 out of plus 5. And this is... Yeah, alright. Plus 3 out of plus 5. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Smoke's Great Hammer. I'm actually surprised. Wait, does this game? Let's Google it. Ornstein. Sp 
fear Dark Souls 3. Can you find it in Dark Souls 3? You can! What is it called? The Dragon Slayer Spear? Yeah, I don't have it, unfortunately. I need it. Twinkling Titanite. Even though I'm not I'm not gonna use it, I still want it. Where can you get it? Oh, it's an Arch Dragon Peak. So it's not that far from where I am right now in the game. Alright, if that's the case, oh perfect, lovely. Wait, what does it scale off of though? Strength and what is this? Dexterity? Okay, lovely. Then actually I will actually upgrade this weapon. If it if it scales off of strength and dex, which I have plenty of, and its ability is to fight with lightning, and it's a dragon slayer spear. I don't know who I'm gonna use it against, but it'll definitely be useful. Eventually. I think. I'm just coping. I'm huffing that copium. Ready, <laughs> be careful. Ah. Oh, no, wait, I don't need you. Do you know, it would be so nice if I could wear armor while being a dragon. Please, can the game make dragon armor? Does that is that too abnormal? Here, is, here are some eyes. Are these eyes? Yes, gifts are for these you. Eyes? Yeah, for you. How gracious of thee, Ashen One. The very things we firekeepers have been missing. Yeah, I know. That's why I got them for you. I was thinking about you when I got those eyes. Ashen One, my thanks for the eyes thou hast given. Uh huh. But fire keepers are not meant to have eyes. It is forbidden. Shh, pshaw. These Our dirty little secret. A sliver of light, frightful images of betrayal. A world without fire. That sounds like you're scared. Ashen one, is this truly thy wish? Uh, I wish for a world without flame. So, do I want to end the cycle, or do I want to keep it going? Do I want to end the cycle or keep it going? Hmm. Wow, I'm stumped. I don't know what to choose. I'm actually in a tight spot with this. Do I want to keep the cycle going or do I want to end it? Huh. Wow, I never thought a question like this would hit me so hard. It's like an L. Okay. <laughs> I know, bro. People who have been watching this stream are probably tired of me constantly making references to other Souls games. But this is like Bloodborne and an Elden Ring. So in Elden Ring, you continue the cycle by becoming Elden Lord. If you become Elden Lord, you just continue the cycle. Which is a bad cycle to continue, too. Because the Golden Order is filled with shit. So, it's not the best idea to continue the cycle. However, there are two routes you can also take that deviate from it. Which is Frenzied Flame, where you burn everything down. And unite everything through ash, by turning it all into ash, kind of like Dark Souls. That's why people theorize that the Frenzied Flame ending leads to the world of Dark Souls. Or, you do Rani's ending. Which people believe leads to the world of Bloodborne. 
Um, and in Bloodborne, you can also do the exact same thing. You repeat the cycle in two ways. You either repeat the cycle by letting Gurman kill you. And if Gurman kills you, then other hunters are going to fall in and they're just going to repeat the cycle. Or you fight against Gurman, get influenced by the moon presence, and you take Gurman's place, which is also repeating the cycle. Oh my goodness. Oh, actually shit, I just realized. All endings of Bloodborne force you to repeat the cycle. Because even the cycle where you fight German, you kill German, and the Moon Presence, you become a great one. So you take the Moon Presence place, and you repeat the cycle. Oh my god. Bloodborne is literally a world with no hope. Um, do I want to repeat the cycle in this game? Or do I want to end it? Do I want to repeat the cycle of abuse? Or do I want to end it? Um, how have I been stuck on this question for the past five minutes? Well, what feels like five minutes. I want to... You see, the problem is, if I say I want to, I want a world without flame, it's going to upset my wife. It's going to upset my baby, my maiden. But am I a simp like that? Am I really a simp like that? Oh. Since there is no Dark Souls 4, I guess I have to live in a world without flame. Of course. I serve thee and will do as thou bidst. Uh. This will be our private affair. Mm. No one else may know of this. <laughs> nah, man. We can so do another I'll private come. affair, Loki. Find lords to link the fire. And I will blindly tend to the flame. Until the day of thy grand betrayal. Damn, she sounds so disappointed in me, bro. It's like when <laughs> it's like when you tell Melina that you're about to link up with the with the three fingers. Why does that sound so kinky? You're about to link up with the three fingers. Anyways, yeah, and then after that she just decides to leave you. She's so disappointed in your decision. You know, I think I made the right choice. Ashen one. Forgive me if this sounded strange. Sure. The eyes show a world without fire. Uh-huh. A vast stretch of darkness. Uh-huh. But tis different to what is seen when stripped of vision. How so? In the far distance, I sense the presence of tiny flames. Oh. Like precious embers, left to us by past lords, linkers of the fire. Could this be what draws me to this strangely enticing darkness? Probably. Um, isn't that just the lore or like the beginning of Dark Souls 1? Where, in the beginning, there was nothing but darkness. But then, there was fire. And then, some people got a hold of fire and then they became Lords of Cinder. And then they granted fire. Wait, did they grant fire to the rest of humanity or did they keep it for themselves? I don't even remember what, what they did, but yeah. Isn't that just the beginning of the game? Where if I decide to end the cycle, then maybe somebody down the line will re-inherit the embers of fire. And then they'll just become lords of cinder. Bruh, this blind plate... Uh, the, <laughs> the way I'm speaking on this as if I know Dark Souls lore. Even though I don't, I played Dark Souls 2 First, I played the second, then the third. Like, I have no idea about the Dark Souls lore, but this is just what I'm assuming. Ashen one, if thine heart should bend, mm -hmm. kill me. Yeah? And strip these eyes from my person. Uh, no? I will return as the firekeeper I once was, as it has always been. Uh, no. I love you too much to, to kill you, okay? You're my baby. Ashen one, if thine heart kill me, I will return as it has. 
I'm not stripping you of Very those well. eyes. Then touch the darkness within me. Take nourishment. Bro, why you had to make me fall? Why am I attached to her? I ain't, I, I don't fuck with this. 18 plus 5, that's 23 out of 26. Shit, alright. Ugh. Ashen one, if killed by wizard, mayst thou thy peace discover. Ashen one. Wait, 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 what? Ashen one. If when thou peerest upon the first flame, uh huh, thou wishest yet for a world without fire. For an end to the linking of the fire. Then call upon me. I am a fire keeper. And I tend to the flame to the very end. Thou hast given me eyes. And such it was they showed me. Um. How the hell did she... Mayst thou thy peace discover. Oh, she even changes her goodbye dialogue. Um. How did she put those eyes in? Did she like into her eye sockets? Just kind of pop them in, you know? Because oh. that sounds nasty. That's just like in Naruto. For some reason in Naruto, everybody's able to just switch eyes. Oh, ah, here are my eyes. Wear them. Excuse me? Like, how the hell did you remove... How, uh, this is like, they're like light bulbs. You can screw them on and off. So I wonder if that's how she... Same thing within Bloodborne. How they're able to put eyes inside their skull in order to gain insight. Literally, a, a literal play on words. Their mind gets expanded. Like, they get insight by looking inside their head. Like, it's weird. Grant us eyes. Ashen Mokma. Okay. Oh yeah, I killed the boss. Let's see what weapon he has to give me. Nothing. Oh, never mind. Okay, I thought I... Huh. Let us continue our journey. I spent way too long contemplating what she had asked me. Way, way too long. Look at all these incantations that I can't use. This looks interesting though. Dragonkin Mausoleum. I just want to beat the Nameless King. I want to beat the Lameless King. The Lameless? The Nameless King before I end the live stream. That's what I have in mind. I have to at least end the, the live stream on a high note. I will keep streaming until I beat it. Um, ding? Ding dong. Who are you? Oh, of course he fights with lightning. Of course. Wait. <laughs> How does shit heal? Oh, never mind. It does not do the damage I thought it was gonna do.
It does not do the damage I thought it was going to do. Thank you for that weapon, though. I appreciate it. Why does the bell keep ringing? Ah, ah, what the fuck? The hell is this? <laughs> okay, I didn't mean to kick it to its death, but I'll take it. There's a lot of things I didn't mean to do in this game, but hey, I'll take it. Another one? Try gesture. Oh, I'm supposed to try the gesture here. All right. Give me a minute. Oh, this is the area before you kill the dragon. All right, I heard you. Now, how do you expect me to do the gesture? If this guy is gonna... Like they're like do the gesture bro not only do i look like a dragon i look like i belong here but also you're constantly on my meat what am i supposed to do why are you getting summoned Pretty be careful all right there we go so i'm just right now trying to get items I'm just minding my own business in my own world. Twinkling tight night. Thank you. Thank you. Quite something ahead. I have no idea. I'm not going to fuck around and find out. You be safe though. See, and that's where I wanted to go when I was fighting the dragon. Simply just because like, hey... Sacred flame. It burrows inside the foes and ignites. Where do I learn these moves? They tell me of moves that like I've never heard of. I don't even think there's a move like that in Elden Ring. Or any other Souls game. That burrows inside the enemy and then explodes. Turn somebody into a ticking time bomb. Look at all these dragons, bro. Clearly, I belong. Be wary of ambush. Damn. That shit was fast. There's nothing here either. It's like, be wary of ambush. Alright, I'm aware of the ambush. Immediately gets ambushed. And sees nothing in sight. So, it's not even worth it. Was it... What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Although, I will still investigate. Now, what's this? Huh? Alright. So much blood over here. What? Oh yeah, the try jumping off thing. Alright. Try jumping off. Was she the one who was summoning that NPC to constantly 
uh, jump on me. Hello. See, I want to deal with him. him anymore it's crazy when sometimes the NPCs are harder than the bosses themselves okay what is what happens if I survive the ambush then Right? I got buried? Oh, there is something here to get. Okay. Bro, this is the only time I've ever gotten parried in the entire game, and it's by snakes. For some reason, the snakes know how to parry. They've learned some... Some insight into what it's like to be a Soulsborne veteran. I haven't parried since the very beginning of the game. For good reason, too. But I just got my souls. I think usually when that happens, when you pick up your souls and you die, I think your souls respawn in the area where there was least um, aggression, right? Just before the battle began. Oh, the first move was swallow. Let's see if I'm right though. So it should spawn right outside. Never mind. I mean, close enough. Close enough. Sage? Oh, oh my goodness. What is that giant rock thing? It's like, uh, it just flops around. Actually, well, I want to... <laughs> I want to see how it looks like if I just do the head. <laughs> ah, okay. Anyways. That was funny. That, that, that gave me my shits and giggles. Thank you. Why did it spawn all the way up here? I thought it spawned down. Downstairs. Damn, because this thing is pure rock. Rock that can spit fire. Rock that can spit fire. Oh, it loops. Wait, wait, before I try the gesture... And I bow to that dragon. I need to see what's over here. Ow, are you okay? And then this guy, just constant munch. Can I break his ankles? Can the ankles be broken? Seemingly so. Can the ankles be broken? Seemingly so.
Lord bless it, the ankles. Douse them in holy water because they have been damaged. It's fine. Now I want to find out what the hell this thing is. Yo. That was a close one. Like, so these are the, like the, the ancestors. I guess the answer, you know, like the twinkling titan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those things that dropped the twinkling titanite. Yeah, so these are like ancestors. All right, that's not a mimic. All right. Tight night scale. No monsters ahead. All right. That would be that would be shitty if there was a mimic in this location of all places. Like really. Um. Hello. Not another one of you. Not another one of you. Leave. I just broke a dragon's ankle. Oh. Bro. <laughs> yeah, this is what happens when y'all don't mind your own business. Y'all also get cooked. Take that as a lesson. This place feels unkindly illusionary wall. I hate this game so much. I actually hate this game so much. I can't take this. Who is this naked warrior? And why is he naked? Richard's rapier. Richard's rapey. <laughs> Why was he naked? Was he gonna turn into a dragon like I? The rapier would be considered a thrusting sword, so it should be up here. These are great swords. I'm already in the great sword section. Oh, rapier. Richard's rapier. London press. Bigger question was why? I'm so curious why he was naked. To travel to the path of the dragon, do not ring the great bell. Do not. Nothing will remain once this bell has been told. No life ahead. So, do not ring the bell. All right, I'll go do the gesture before I ring the bell. Nothing will be the same once the bell has been told. That is a very ominous warning. Not one I really enjoy. Nothing will remain the same once the bell has been told. Nice try. Ankles broke. 
bitch. I don't even mean to swear like that. Sometimes it's just souls born NPCs just put me in that ankles broke again. Give up. Your career's failed. Souls born NPCs really just put me in that agitated mood. Be wary of something similar. Alright, it's not a mimic. Oh, shit. Ugh. Oh, it's called combustion? I just call it catch flame. Cause that's what it's called in Elden. <laughs> that's what it's called in Elden Ring, catch flame. There we go. Ah, uh ah, -uh, no, leave me alone. Where does this go? Um, who is this guy? Clearly, he's the shit. He just laid a whole dragon. That is not good damage. Titan slap. Ooh. How the hell am I supposed to go up against someone like this? How much does the fireball do? Nothing. Why is he so agile? <laughs> like, he rolls pretty fast for somebody who weighs as much as he does. Literally, for somebody who weighs as much as he does, he's actually pretty agile. That club looks like a... Huh? What the fuck is this? What incantation is this? Can I wait it out, actually? Yeah, I think I'm gonna just wait it out. Oh, never mind. That's crazy. The moment he killed me, it wore off. So I could actually wait it out. All right. Let's go fight him again. It's still so interesting how nimble he is for a guy with all that armor and... All that armor and all that, like, that large-ass weapon and he's still able to nimble around. That, why is that so much damage? Oh. I meant to backstab, but I'll take it. Seems like I did more damage doing this than the backstab. Actually, I don't want to fight him near the dragon, because I feel like once he has the opportunity to corner me, I am doomed. I think I frostbit him. Yeah. 
Yeah. It sounds like this one, like, Smoke's hammer would... Would really do a lot for me. Shit! Damn! I know he drops some. He either drops his armor or he drops his weapon. Either ways, I'ma go for it. I'ma eat it. Wrong direction. If you have a Titan, you're able to max out your Uchi Kata. You know, I was actually thinking of max. Wow, that is a lot of damage. I was thinking of maxing out my... What is it? My pyromancy flame. My pyromancy hand. But yeah, I think I might do the Uchi Katana, especially if it's going to give me a trophy. You know, I don't plan to use Uchi Katana like that, but... Oh, damn. Oh. Damn it, yo, all right. What does he hit so hard? I know he's immune to bleed. He's wearing all that armor, of course he's immune to bleed. So my Uchi Katana would not even do the damage close to what I would want. Although... Where's that weapon? I want to try it now. It might actually do what I need it to do. I think it was 31 or 36,000 gone. Instead of climbing, it made me read that stupid note on the floor. Oh, Lord. Alright, hold on. If that's the case, let me just go to Fire Link Shrine real quick. I'll use my Titanite slab on the Uchi Katana. Um That's Magic enough, weapon. right? Uh, let's see... I don't have enough Titanite scale to upgrade it to plus 4 yet. Plus 5 sounds so nice. Oh, it sounds so tempting, but no, I can't. Where's the Uchi Katana? Alright. There we go, thank you for the trophy. 
If I can get one more Titanite slab, I don't know what I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it for the Pyromancy Flame. Bro, they me like that. All right, let's see if this weapon will do what I need it to do. If it does, amen. If it doesn't, I just need to remember, do not ring the bell. Do not ring the bell. Oh yeah, I just realized I'm taking this much damage because I am not a dragon yet. Um, I think it's L2. Oh, that's a parry. All right. Oh, and it takes, it only takes stamina. Damn, that left me staggered. Oh yeah, but it's very much possible for me to, to kill him with this weapon, yeah. This ring for now. Uh, I'm trying to think. Skill FP consumption. My move doesn't take FP. Uh, boost attack when HP is. No, that's not gonna help. Covers HP from critical attack and uh I'm trying to figure out which ring would do the most justice for a hit. I think stamina recovery. Either stamina or recovery or physical damage absorption. I think I'll, I'll I think I'll make it stamina recovery for now. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Looking at how fast my stamina recovers, yeah, I think I'm gonna use this one for now. Damn, the fact that I can be sniped from all the way over here. That was embarrassing. Let me just stick with what I know, because right now I am jumping into the deep end. I am dump jumping into the deep end with a weapon I am not familiar with yet. Like, yeah, that's cool. But he's not gonna stick around long enough for me to do all of that. A boss, maybe. This NPC, no. So let me just go back to my plus five. You know? Go with the basics. Oh, I forgot to go into dragon mode. Oh, that was fast! Oh, 
I hate the fact that it's like a homing. It's homing fire. It's not normal fire. It's homing fire. All right, sure. I think he can frostbite. You know what, even if I'm po if I'm doing this, as long as I can maintain that, I think I'm good. Alright. Reset the frog. I'll just wait it out. Damn, he's now fat rolling. He, he's definitely fat rolling. Don't worry, I'll give you an opportunity to have the move wear off. Yep. Woo! Woo! Wow! Wow, 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 wow. I can now see why he took down how he took down the dragon. Ooh. Nice one, good shit. You see this is why I didn't want to get trapped up with the dragon. Yo, why didn't you roll? Why didn't you roll? Why didn't you roll? What? Oh my god, bro. Did he really get hit stunned that bad? It's not even a stamina issue. I had full stamina. He just chose not to roll. Alright. Why are you fighting with a stick this long? Damn, bro. That was actually... Wow. I could have taken that hit and rolled out of it. Healed, jumped back in, and I would have won. But no... I don't want to do that. And then you get this stupid thingy over here this stupid rolling whatever it is uh. all right I will beat it Who rung the bell? Who rung the bell? That completely took me out of focus. Remember, do not ring the bell. Is he worth it right now? I'll come back to him. I'm gonna go try the gesture at that location and see what happens.
All right, yeah, I need to see. I just want to tr see what's going to happen. Okay, so Path of the Dragon Lord. Path of the Dragon, sit down, sit down. Calamity Ring. Not what I expected, but I'll take it. Definitely not what I expected. But, again, I will take it. Ah. Time to go fight that NPC again. Um, Calamity Ring, what does that do? Receive double death. Why would anybody want to punish themselves like that? Receive double damage. And what's worse is it has no upside. It's just receive double damage. Like what does that even do for you? Backstab. Why do you stagger so much? Bro, that hit stun is actually insane. So you literally have to no hit this guy. Because one hit somehow chains into another. He, he, like the way he gets hit, he gets hit as if he's already dead. Might as well. You know? And then you and then you have these NPCs that have like unlimited stamina. there was a way to like bait him into I don't know dying I don't know where those came from but hey I'll take it Swing, swing. I'll force you to swing. Yeah. That hit me? Wait, but I, I barely took any damage from that. Oh, three? Alright. How come it's... What are people in armor like this weak against? Standard? Yeah, it seems like people like this are weak against standard. Oh, not sta- yeah, 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 Getting hit by like a hammer would really fuck him up. Like a club.
No, I just... Ooh. When he runs like that, he's defending. Just realize he's guarding himself. Oh, yeah. Turn off that shit. Uh huh. Come on, please, 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 please. All right. Oh my god. I got greedy. I got greedy and I panicked. Yeah, it's really crazy that sometimes NPCs just be cooking me harder than bosses do. He's literally not a boss. And I'm getting cooked like he is. Time. Oh my god, bro. It's just constant. It's just a waste of flask. What, bro? Why? Can I not climb in peace? No, no, that's. Actually, no, I'm asking too much from a Souls game. I really am. Whatever he drops better be worth all of this stress. Actually, what he drops better be worth all the stress. Either it has to be a uh, his weapon, his armor, both, a ring. I know he's not going to drop a sorcery because he doesn't do that. Or he drops a soul. And then the soul allows me to get either or. Either his armor or that incantation spell of his. Why can that thing lunge at me like that? Uh huh. Huh. Guess that's the wave. Just take the damage and keep climbing. Reach the top, only heal once. Damn. He has really good counters. Just the way he walks pisses me off. So he can wind up like that. that. So he can wind up like that and immediately roll out of it, no punishment. The fat roll is kind of funny though. Yo, oh my goodness, said how can he change Bro, what is his strength? What is his strength and his endurance? He has Insanely high strength, endurance, and vitality. The fact that he's able to do such a punishable attack and immediately chain it into something else. With no drain on his stamina. I'm so glad he doesn't have Estus flasks.
Oh, I didn't take any damage from either of them. I spoke too soon. But why did that bell ring that one time? Uh-huh. Oh my goodness. That's actually ridiculous. It's actually ridiculous how hard he can hit. How fast he can hit as well. If he was just a heavy hitter, I'd be like, oh, okay, great. His posture, uh, not his posture, his poise. I need a move, or I need a weapon. Yeah, yeah. Cause you actually, you glaze so much. Hopefully that will discourage you from shooting at me. You see, I used to think that thing was cute. Until it started bullshitting me. Now I don't think it's as cute anymore. What? Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm just gonna come back to him. Yeah. I'll put him on pause. I'll come back to him. Whatever he drops is not worth all these attempts. Really not worth all these attempts. Maybe I need to hit harder. But like, I'm not wasting an ember on that. Burn. Yep. Come here. Uh -huh. Do it. I thought you would. Uh huh. Ugh, you have that healing shield of yours. I'm not. Interested. I was gonna say that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. They're everywhere. Literally, they're just everywhere. Wow. All right, let me just try sprint. We sprint through it. We re sprint. We don't care. We pick up whatever item that thing is and we keep it pushing. Uh, you rolled. Dragon Chaser Ashes. Now that sounds useful. Whoa, why is there a whole squad here? A whole family. Whose ankles can I break? Ooh. 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 Ankles broke. Look at how many. Oh, that's a lot of souls. Do you know why? Because that just tells me that's a lot of ankles broken. Huh? Bitch, why do you do so much damage? Uh uh. We're not doing that. Up, up, up. Oh my. Oh my. Alright.
Oh, he really just wanted to avenge. He wanted to avenge all those people I made fall off the cliff. Uh, is that where I'm gonna fight Lord Gwyn? I mean, sorry, the Nameless King. I keep forgetting, he was stripped of his name. Why are they so... So literally, I am meant to juke them. I'm meant to break their ankles. I am meant to break their ankles. Because why are they all congested in such a small area like that? That actually made no sense to me. Especially if that's supposed to be a boss run. Right? I'm supposed to go from point A to point B. Oh, of course. Oh, of course. Alright. Bring your whole family. Watch me break their ankles. Yeah. Bring your whole family. Watch me break their ankles. Bring your whole family. Watch me break their ankles. You have to ring the bell to fight the Nameless King? Oh. Everybody was saying do not ring the bell. All those writings on the floor said do not ring the bell. Alright, let me emote. Let me emote real quick. Twinkling Dragon Torso Stone. Time for gesture. What does that gesture do for me? Didn't mean to do that. Gain Dragon Torso and Roar until death. What? Hold on. What does this mean? I don't think I care about the 6,000. What in the... Yo, actually, I should, just, I, I should be putting these items here. Alright. Alright. Sure, it's basically just... Roar like a dragon. Roar until death. It's just basically this. But a little bit on drugs. I want to see how much damage it does though. That's also uh, another problem I have. Another concern I have. How much damage does it do? Ah, not bad. Six thousand? Yeah, I'm not tripping. If I have to go ring the bell to go fight uh, the nameless king, then yeah, sure. I want to see what this move that this new acquired transformation thing I've gotten. How much damage does it do to that guy, that fat guy? Because I'm pretty sure he's, what, he's slow enough for the move to actually hit. So uh, it's not like, oh, I have to worry about the move not hitting. No, I, I'm pretty sure it can hit. No fireball? I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. All right. Really? Just out of range? Just out of range? It's like literally in front of you.
literally in front of you. Okay. I thought... I thought it was a, like a little extended, not in your face. Now that I know that I have to be closer... Alright. Where did I get that from? Who died? Alright, let's try it one more time. I just want to see how much... Huh. Even forces him to the floor. Alright. Hey, excuse me. Ooh. Come on, come on. Bro, I'll wait for you to do that. I will literally wait for you to do that move every single time. Because I know when you do an overhead, it seems like you have the ability to roll again. Huh? I thought I was out of Okay, I accidentally stepped into range. It's fine. Let's go fight Gwyn. Another ring? Boost sorceries. Now how the hell am I supposed to get this? There's a trophy for like getting every single ring. And so I don't know how I'm gonna get that one, but hey. Do not ring the bell. I will beat Lord Gwyn. Or not Lord Gwyn. Uh, the Nameless King. Actually, I want, I want to see what happens if I Google. What is the nameless king's name? Oh, it's Sen. Oh, he's Gwyn's for firstborn son. That's why I keep calling him Lord Gwyn. Oh, so his name is Sen. All right. One of the, the related search results is, is Ornstein a female? Ornstein and Smoke, a woman and a man team combo. Oh, what the hell is this place? Ah, oh, no, this looks hard. This looks hard. <laughs> like, in terms of visuals and difficulty, this looks hard. Can I step on it? Am I gonna fall to my death? Okay. I think that was a bad idea doing that in my first fight. Because I don't know how Gwyn moves. Not Gwyn, Sen. I don't know how the Nameless King moves. That is one hell of an entrance. King of the store. Ah! Huh? 
Hello, King of the Storm. Okay, this music, man. That weapon. Wait, that. why does that weapon look like the Serpent Hunter? It looks like the Serpent Hunter. Oh, shit, I'm backed up against the wall. The dragon itself is actually pretty spongy. Yeah, it seems like the dragon itself is pretty spongy. I just need to... Yeah, ah! Woohoo! Oh, that is so cool! Oh, that's so cool! Oh, <laughs> oh this, bo <laughs> this boss battle is actually free! Oh, this is entertaining, this is entertaining. Yeah, I like it, I like it, I like it. Okay, what is not entertaining though, is that lock-on. That is something I will definitely say is not entertaining. Oh my goodness! Okay, yeah. So the dragon is pretty spongy. Not bad. Not worried about it. Think I could take it. Uh, the only thing, the only problem I have is the hitbox. Aside from the hitbox, everything is good. Wow, when they said nothing would be the same after the bell was rung, they kind of meant it. Oh, never mind. Uh, and the dragon is weak to frostbite. Makes sense. It's a lizard. I'm not sure what Lord Gwyn or Lord Sen's. Bro, that entrance is just so cool. And then the music. Oh. I underestimate the range of my weapon. Stop moving your head so much, bro. Oh my goodness. Trying to lock onto that camera of his is just, it's insufferable. It's actually insufferable. Because his head is constant. That's his, his head is just constantly wibbly wobbling. So you can't even get a good clean hit in. Especially when the body looks like it's supposed to be in a vulnerable state. But right now, phase one. That's phase one with the amount of damage I can do. I don't know if I'm all too concerned. I don't think, uh, boost attacks, recovers HP. Yeah, this one's not going to do me much. Uh, let's see. Ah. Uh.
I think that dragon thing is considered physical. I think the dragon is considered physical damage. And if I ever really need more, if I need to change it, I'll change it back. Second row near the very bottom. Second row near the very bottom. All right. This is a very the theatrical boss fight though. I will admit that. Really, bro? We just started. Oh, that did not feel good. Damn, that did not feel good. What? I dodged. Yeah, this is just a horrible run. The Neighbor's King looks fire though. The design of the, the knight that's on top. Do you know what scares me the most? Spending all this time fighting the dragon, beating the dragon, and then when it's time to fight the Neighbor's King, I just get mollywhopped. Then I have to restart all over again. It's not like you start restart from phase two, right? You restart from phase one. So it's just like, ah. The anxiety is there. It's there. It's there. Lord Gwyn, I've come to bargain. Why do I keep saying Lord Gwyn? Lord Sen. Name is King, I've come to bargain. Bro, you just started your throwing lightning at me. What? Okay, that is a lot of damage. I need to burn alright, there we go. We reset the prog. If I can bait him into... One. If I can bait him into... Doing... Also, this dragon looks strange. Now that I'm looking at it, like... This is definitely the strangest Soulsborne dragon I have seen in a while. Alright, bro, you got it. And then I long came to see how the sun about. Ooh, that is a lot of damage. No. Bro, 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 what the hell was that? What the hell was that? Ah, oh, what? 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 Okay, bro. I swear. I swear. When he was down, I hit him. Was I supposed to throw a fireball? No, but he has fire resistance. Oh my goodness. That was so close. So close to phase two. Oh man. Because there's no way I was doing that damage thinking that was the entire fight. I was like, well, is this it? Like, no, this is not the guardian ape. I was doing so good too. I was doing so good. Okay, but also 
That's gonna bother me for a while. Why does this dragon look so weird? Three hits of prob. You are literally three hits to prob? Alright. What the hell? The fuck did you just do? I just want to hit you with a little fire. So did I dodge into the attack? Seems so. King of the storm. I will not end this live stream until I kill him. The moment I <laughs> the moment I kill him is the moment this live stream ends. But I think I'm doing good so far. Just prog him with a little... Uh... You see, it would have been nice if I had that ring. That reduces... Actually... Huh. See, this Estus thing is very useful. Boost attacks as long as attacking persists. See, I was thinking of replacing this one with the increased physical damage absorption. But I don't think I need it yet. From what I've been able to do, I think I can actually handle it. I don't need extra buffs. I just need to get better. Just get good. Literally, that's it. That's the entire remedy for me fighting this guy. Or these guys. Assuming the dragon is a god. Wow, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Oh. Yep, yep, yeah, I saw that one coming. Bro, this is literally Storm... It's not Stormbreaker, Serpent Hunter. That's that's the weapon you use to fight Rykard. Oh my goodness, bro. And you see, if I had, if I was a faith build, and I had the, where's Ornstein? It says you can find Ornstein's uh, spear here, right? Where is it? Because it's literally called the Dragon Slayer. If I had said Dragon Slayer, it would be pretty easy to slay the stupid dragon for at least phase one. And then phase two, then I can, you know, transition to whatever, another good weapon. Where's once I need to find it? Already? Okay, since the horns are curved, I'm assuming... Yeah, it's a god. Okay, what is it called? Dragon Slayer Spear Spear Location We're about to find out Cuz yeah, we're gonna fight lightning with lightning for phase one and then lightning and ice Yo, 
you're joking me, right? You can grab it from beyond the gate? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Travel. Yeah, once we get the weapon, after we get the weapon, we upgrade it. After we upgrade it, we go and fight that dragon and we absolutely demolish it. I'm so glad the weapon does not scale off of faith. It doesn't need faith, it just needs dexterity and strength. Two things I have in abundance. I wouldn't say I have dexterity in abundance, but I have strength in abundance. 50 strength? Yeah, I'd say I'm pretty abundant in that. <laughs> really? That easy? I thought the gate was gonna be a deterrent. Or I'd have to find another way in. Oh, Lord Sin. All right. Dragon Slayer Spear. Now, I'm not sure if I'm ready to wield a spear. You know what? Eh, fuck it, why not? Why not? I'm pretty sure. I could make a good spear. Spear fighter, whatever they're called. Oh, that is Jay. Great. Hawkwood sword grab. Well, All right. now that that task is concluded, what would you have me see? Uh, didn't. I had some ashes I could have. Oh, yeah, never mind. I know where the ashes are supposed to go. Not you. Where is the spear? It's under the spear section. Uh huh. We're going crazy. I think that's good enough. Plus four is it is good enough. Mm hmm. Pretty, I don't. Uh... Pretty, be careful. Pretty, be careful. Ah, how many? Take these ashes, Good man. Liar. What do these ashes give me, though? Five of those. Chunks. Oh, twinkling titanite. Nice. And titanite scale. So that's pretty nice to have an unlimited supply of these two. Ashes are bas basically, uh, what are these things called? Smith bearing? Bell bearings, that's what they're called. Bell bearings. Morn's outfit looks... All right, now that I have Smog's hammer... Actually, yeah, alright, that's everything. So I have to guess the only thing I really need to buy are uh... Ashes. Alright. Damn, this is a pretty fire sword. Alright, I see you. Uh get rid of this. Change this for the spear. My weight ratio is 39. So I medium roll. Then I have to do wheels. Alright, so that's what I'm gonna have to do. That's what I'm gonna have to do when it's available to... You know, when I have the opportune moment. I hope I didn't upgrade this weapon for nothing. 
I hope, hope, hope I didn't upgrade this weapon for nothing. Alright, let's do it. Do I think I can do this? Yes? No? Maybe. He immediately flies to the back, right? Up! God damn, I was wrong. Oh lord. Okay. I thought the moment he jumps into the match, he flies behind me. It's actually RNG. It's literally RNG. Okay. And here I was thinking, oh, this is gonna be it's gonna be easy. All I gotta do is just hit him, you know. He's gonna attack me from the back. Pause. No wait, that's not even pause. That's no pause. But, yeah. Alright, now I, I need to observe him. What do you plan to do? Ooh! Now that's a lot of damage! I swear, this weapon was distinctly made. Hmm. Only problem is how much Estus it takes. Oh. I'm gonna need to allocate my... Yeah, I'm gonna need to allocate my shard. Either I need to use my moves more wisely, which is, yes, something I need to do. But I also need to allocate my shards better. Spook. Prevents fall damage. I don't know when that would be useful. Actually, no, it is useful sometimes. When you're doing a boss run, when you're running back to a boss, sometimes you'll take a route that is faster, but you'll take some fall damage. So uh, I can see that. And how generous of them to always leave your blood echoes outside the boss battle. I did not expect the spear to do that much damage though. I am impressed. Definitely does more damage than the uh, ice sword. See, that's what I thought it was gonna do every single time we fought. All right. Wait, why aren't you getting hurt? Why would Was that damage a fluke? Why wasn't he getting hurt? Like, whip. Uh, what's this? Ash of War aside. It's still a plus four. It's almost at its max. And that was not doing any damage whatsoever. Where am I supposed to end? Like, you're a dragon. You're supposed to be extra weak to it. It's it's not only a spear, which I'm pretty sure dragons take piercing damage. Oh <gasps> shit! Yep. This 
this is what I expect you to do every single time, okay? Something is definitely off. What happened to the original damage in the beginning? All of a sudden the damage is no longer computing? Alright. At least that does a lot of damage. Bro, what is this? What is this? Why does he not take damage? All of a sudden, the Ash of War is not doing... There we go! Go. <sighs> Phase two. Now oh, he has sympathy for his dragon. Okay. Yo, what the... What the fuck is that? Oh, it has gas. That is gas. Why does he look hollow? He either looks hollow or undead. Actually, both. The Nameless King. Woo! <laughs> Okay, we're about to look this nigga up. The Nameless King. Let's look at his wiki. I don't need to know where to find him. I need to look at his wiki to see his stuff. Alright, so he's weak. He's weak to lightning? Really? Okay. He's weak to lightning and frostbite. He's resistant to poison, bleed, and fire. Uh, oh wait, no, that's the King of the Storm. The Nameless King is weak to fire and dark. I have the fire, I don't have the dark. Uh, gee. He's resistant to lightning, frost, and bleed. Oh. <laughs> All three of my favorite things to use. And then he is immune to poison and toxin. Oh, his weak spots. Oh, that's the King of the Storm. His attacks deal lightning, thrust, and standard damage. He's weak to dark and fire damage. Uh, he cannot be parried, but he can be staggered, which allows him allows you to go in for a repose. Okay. That was 
That phase transition though. That phase transition though. Whoever did that shit was cooking. They were creating an entire feast. That was theatrical. Beautiful. Good to know this weapon actually works when... Oh, wrong weapon. Ah, yep, 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 that was my fault. Excuse me. Alright. Alright. Sure. I know me reaching his phase 2 was not a fluke. It was not a fluke. Oh, alright. We can do this. Ornstein's weapon? Yeah, Ornstein's weapon will help me. Phase 1, Ornstein's weapon. Phase 2... Oh, my battery's running low. Where is the charger? Phase 2 is a bit of a problem. That's where my biggest problem lies. Phase 2. My bad. Oh yeah, not the feet, go for the head. Yeah! Then he goes for a slam. Yeah. Didn't think it was gonna be a lightning slam, but I, I saw the slam coming. The Nameless King. Whew. A specimen to behold, for sure. King of the storm, if my moves, if my moves landed correctly every single time, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't be having a problem with this damage. I would have been in like consistently getting phase two. Okay. Nameless King, let's do it. Oh, that is fire! What the fuck? Hmm. 
I'm trying to think. If ice is not going to help me in phase 2, what will? Ice does not work for phase 2. He said he's weak to fire. But I don't want to use a slow fire weapon. Chaos... I don't, I don't think chaos will count. He's weak to fire. See, fire is the important one. Weak to fire. Hold on, let me go back to that website. Dark and fire. I don't have any dark weapons. None that I can think of. So I have to go with fire. Weak to fire. Would he be careful? Hmm. I don't have the stats to wield this. Okay. Uh. Huh. See, I would love to use this. The problem is the damage. No, not the damage, the speed. fire and magic damage uh. huh I need something that's going to give me the speed I need The speed I need while also giving me the damage I need That is what need The speed I need So I don't know if I want to upgrade this Okay, this has the speed and it does fire damage All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it Plus three we'll see what it can do And Oh, this is tough. This is actually tough. I'm out here sitting, think, trying to think like a tactician. Trying to find out what's gonna help me the most. I need tight light scale, twinkling. Alright, let's try this twinkling tight light thing. See, it does chaos, but chaos is not good enough. Can I infuse it though? No, I can't. Pretty be careful. Alright, if that's the case, then phase one will be this, phase two will be this. Alright, so yeah, phase one. We have our weapon. And then phase two, we have our weapon. Should all go well? I should be doing the damage. I hope it will do. Whew. Alright.
Maybe I should have also allocated more to the as uh, Estus shards. Or the Ashen Estus. Okay. I should have tested it before the fight. Oh god. I guess we'll find out. Field test. Come on. Shit, I... And I was hoping he was gonna thrust. But I dodged too early. Okay. Okay. Let's field test. It does take stamina. Okay, now that's gonna do a lot of damage. Um... Okay, um... All right. How am I gonna beat the Nameless King? You know what? So I don't know how many... Phase one? Yeah, I think I'll go 10 and 8. What? 10 and 2. Yeah, 10 and 2. Pretty be careful. Actually, hold on. Twenty thousand. Okay. I think we can do this. Whew. I think I have this. I, I think I got this. I mean, I have to have this. I can't leave the live stream. I can't end the live stream until I beat him. We're approaching seven hours, by the way. So yeah, um, I have to beat him. It's like three in the morning. Oh shit, I forgot to transform! I had to waste the opportunity. I had to waste it. I had to waste it. Shit. Does it shoot a beam? So it's like, hit, 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 shoot.
already? That damage was actually abysmal, but hey. Why? 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 Alright, there we go. There we go. Alright, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I need to go back. <laughs> Time to go back to the... Time to go back to the... Ice Sword, because at least that does damage. And sure, he has a resistance, but it's not an immunity. So, yeah. Try this one though. Alright, phase two. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, I had to stay down for that one. I just realized I am not in my dragon form. You 
damn, this guy's lightning resistance is actually crazy. My game lagged! Oh, that's why it lagged. It was auto-saving. Oh, brother, could you not? You chose the worst time. The worst time to be auto-saving. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Wait. Oh, shit, he has a resistance to bleed. I was gonna put... I was gonna put fire on my Uchi Katana since it's max level. So fire on the Uchi Katana and then after I put fire on the Uchi Katana then at least I can do some damage, you know? But it's, it doesn't seem like that would be... I mean... It's alright. Let's try it. Let's actually try it. The tune spell. Is it possible? I'll have to change my. What is it? Sunlight talisman? Oh, wait. It, it's a spell. So it uses a wand. Wait, does it use a chime? Let me just choose a regular weapon like a uh, broadsword. Okay, so the chime doesn't work. Excuse me, what are the requirements to use this? Bro, what do I need to... Oh man, what do I need to equip in order to use that spell? It's a spell, right? What the hell? What the? It's better to throw a fireball than to catch flame. He's weak to fire. See, that, that whole thing of being weak to fire has been lingering in the back of my head for like the longest time. Is that phase two? Yep, phase two. <laughs> oh, that speed makes me feel some type of way. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I love it so much. That speed is something to behold. Mwah, chef's kiss. Beautiful. Pup kiss. Love it. I hate it when an enemy fights slow. When an enemy moves fast, it makes my blood pump. Ooh. Yeah. 
Nameless King has set himself to be my favorite Souls game, um, not Souls game, but my favorite uh, Dark Souls 3 boss so far. Out of all the bosses I've faced, yeah, definitely my favorite. Just the, the fight, the cutscene that leads to it, the entrance, the phase 2 transition, like, just constant winning. Phase 2 itself? Bro, what is going on? Ah. And then he's gonna... Oh, he didn't go for a slap? Alright. Damn. Damn. Okay. Ooh, I'm actually having fun fighting him. Do you know, the fun that I'm having fighting um, the Nameless King is the exact same thrill I had when fighting Maria of the Astral Clock Tower. There's just something about this boss that has has some oomph to it. I like it. No, I respect the boss. The Nameless King. I will try and remember the... I mean, you are nameless. You are meant to be forgotten, but I'll make an effort. Throw your lightning bolt. And then along came Zeus. What? That was not the damage I was expecting. Alright, fair enough. Okay. You know, I noticed, I haven't... It, it's disadvantageous to fight this boss as a lightning dragon. Oh, as a dragon, right? Because they both fight with lightning. Or oh, this boss fights with lightning, so that just puts me at an extra disadvantage. So maybe, 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 I just need to put on some armor. Hopefully it's not enough armor to shadow- is this a ninja mask? Hopefully it's not enough for me to fat roll. Oh yeah, oh yeah! Oh yeah, oh yeah. Crazy. Firekeeper gloves. I think I had the cleric gloves. As long as I can dodge and I'm not fat rolling, I think I'm good. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh, no. I have to take my pants off. <laughs> Weird. Uh, yeah. It seems like no... Yeah. I have to keep my pants on and... Pants off in order to medium roll. No, 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 no. Oh, wait.
Because I'm not about to lose all of that. Uh, I'm not about to lose all of that. All, all of the, all of that souls, all those souls. And then along came Zeus, the eldest thunderbolt. You see, I really like everything. There's nothing I dislike about fighting the nameless king. Actually, no, the hitbox of the dragon's head. That's the only thing I don't like. Aside from that, I love everything about this boss. So far, so good. Oh, perfect. Or 9 out of 10. Which is better than most bosses. I'm not gonna lie. I'm looking forward to the Elden Ring DLC just to see. Just to see what's possible in terms of what these people are gonna make. Or what the uh, from software can make. One hit. There we go. Phase two. All right. He spawned so far away that I can't. I can't lock on. That move is so cool. I tried to dodge, I tried to dodge that one. Cause I I didn't mind just constantly poking him. I feel like poking him would have actually done something. Just playing this makes me want to play the DLC so bad. But I can't. That's a lot of money. The hell? Oh. The DLC is a lot of money. And I can tell it's worth it. But. Man. Maybe one day though. One day. I'll definitely pick it up again just to play the DLC. One thousand damage. How much damage does this dragon have? Like twenty thousand? Oh, hello there, nameless king. Goes through the entire face.
All right, there we go. We got it. Oh! Ah! And I survived that. No, not again! Why did we do less damage this time? That move is so cool! It did say he had resistance, not immunity. Oh, what is he doing? Oh! Whoa! What the fuck? Holy! Good lord! Why does his... Why does the phase 2 have a phase 2? What is this? It's like a 4 phase fight. Or like a 3 phase fight because it doesn't feel like the dragon has a phase 2. 3 phase fight. Who does that remind me of? Actually a lot of Sekiro... A lot of Sekiro bosses have 3 phase fights. Yeah, but I'm not gonna- I don't mind poking him. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is not gonna be the run. It's not gonna be the run. Already wasted two Estus flasks. Yeah, it's not gonna be the one. Woo! Three. Okay, phase two. Bro, we just started. Where did he go? Oh. That move is so cool. Oh, okay. Oh, he's barefoot. Why does that matter? It doesn't. Shit. Makes sense. I don't think you'd be riding a dragon with shoes. Okay, I personally, I wouldn't be riding a dragon with shoes. Depends on how scaly the dragon is, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, but overall, I don't think I would be riding a dragon with shoes. Ooh. Why isn't there a ring for, like, dexterity? There's a ring that I could wear. That would improve my dexterity. I'd probably use it and replace Pontiff's right eye with it.
All right. Starting off strong, like. Interesting how the audio is. Uh, the dragon's audio looks sounds exactly the same as the one in uh, Elden Ring. And there are no dragons in Bloodborne. I'm like, Ow! Toasty! Yo, actually, now that I think about it, though, it's been a while since Mortal Kombat. Ow! Damn it. It's been a while since Mortal Kombat added the toasty thing. It's such an odd thing to add in old games. But it, it, it grew on. It grew on the entire fandom. So I wonder if Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 1, the reboot, has that toasty. Toasty! Okay. Okay. We'll do it. We will do it. We can do it. The Nameless King cannot beat us. He will not keep us down. Aha, uh -huh, nice try. You will not keep us down. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Phase one will not keep me down. Phase one is light. Especially with this- Ow! Especially with this weapon. Phase 1. Come on, come on! Yeah. Ah. Oh, that was so. Oh, so it's a it's a delayed attack. Okay. So when he rolls by and he comes back, the moment he's in your face is not the moment he hits. I actually have to watch out for the weapon swing. Okay. I think I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring it out. In fact, I'm pretty sure I understand, except for the random new moves that Sin is gonna pick, uh, just put on the table. What? All right. A sight here. Aside from the random attacks... Yeah, aside from some of like some random attacks... I pretty much understand the Nameless Kid. There's nothing you can do to surprise me now. I don't know why I just knew I was going to be out of range. Ow. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is not the run. I'm taking way too much damage. I have taken way too much damage for this to be the run. This guy's weapon is stained with my blood. Come on. Just one hit. Phase two. Let's go. Up and drink. Oh, it didn't count my drink. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to poke. Oh my. I am supposed to poke. Not. <laughs> supposed to poke, not attack. Why did I try to kick the dragon? Again, why did I know I was out of range? It's just a weird feeling. So glad this thing... I'm so glad this weapon does not scale off of faith. Hallelujah! King of the Storm! Ooh. Damn! Okay. I panicked. I panicked the moment I saw that lightning. Oh, but the music, the boss music is so good. Ow, my bad. Okay. One is not much of a problem. 
there'll obviously be moments where I'll slip up. But generally speaking, phase one is not a problem. It's phase two. Brother, my body feels tingly, and then oh, okay. So it's not when he's in my face. when those lightning strike hits him that's when I dodge because after it hits him then it hits me it's not at the same time it's not like the second he rises his hand then it strikes me it's he rises it hits him then it hits me all right I, I have got, I have, I understand it. Ugh. Oh, come on. Chance. Okay, how many more bosses am I missing? Uh, Dark Souls 3 bosses. Because maybe, 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 maybe. Have I I've beaten the Deacons of the Deep, right? What is this? It's parryable optional. Oh yes, I have beaten it because it's not optional.
Okay. Huh. Okay, I need to beat... I need to go fight the Demon King. The old Demon King. So, let's see. How many bosses am I missing? The old Demon King. Um... The old Demon King, the Nameless King, and the Soul of Cinder. Really? That's it? I'm missing three bosses. I'm in the middle of fighting one. And I know where the second one is, so I'm just missing the old Demon King. Once I can find... So that means tomorrow... I could literally focus the livestream on fighting these three bosses. Honestly speaking. King of the Storm, my ass. Literally a dragon slayer. Again? Alright, sure. Oh! I thought she still had some health left. Wow. Let's go. Poke. 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 Oh yeah, I held circle instead of uh, pressing it. Poke. Okay. Oh, it sucks that this boss is not parryable. Actually, no, even if it was parryable, it's not like I was gonna parry him. <laughs> I hate parrying. Especially in the only Souls game I like pairing in is Sekiro. So, even if there was an option to parry the the Nameless King, I doubt I would do it. I forgot to dual wield it. A dual handed. Oh, alright. Not the run. Yeah, this is not the run.
Hold on, hold on, no. I might just be able to make it the run. Alright, there we go. I might actually just be able to make it the run. Poke. 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 Ha! Okay. I was within range. Every single time I tell myself this is the run, all of a sudden it's not the run. It's fine. Alright. I genuinely don't think this is a run though. I'm like, even at this point, I'm considering just saving. Like, I'm just considering saving, like, the last three bosses of this game for tomorrow's livestream. Because I'm not gonna lie, the Nameless King has been cooking me for nearly an hour now. Huh? Alright, give me face two. Whew. I just had to watch it again. Cause that shit is gas. <laughs> Alright, so far. Poke. 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 Ow, oh, okay, ow. Oh. I thought I thought I was gonna be done. Drinking in time. Coke. <laughs> Alright, two more attempts. <laughs> two more attempts because it's almost four in the morning. I've been fighting this guy since like what, two? We might actually just save him for 
him, the old demon king, whatever it's in his name is, him, the old demon king, and the soul of Cinder for the final playthrough. Well, for tomorrow's playthrough. I, don't, I doubt tomorrow's is going to be the final. Alright. Let's do this, Lord of Sin. Oh, shit. Why am I why am I selling like this? Why am I selling like this? Wow. I told myself, this is the last two playthroughs. The last two attempts. And all of a sudden my body was like, oh, really? All right, time to fumble. All right, there we go. I'm gonna just drink. It is what it is. Somehow, that wasn't even a uh, full health gone, but it was enough for a phase transition, so I guess. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Was my circle not working? Alright, it's fine. One more playthrough. No, I'll probably just... <laughs> I, re I swear I'm gonna have dreams about this. I'm gonna... I'm, I feel like I'm actually going to have dreams about this. Like, <laughs> it's gonna bother me so much. I'm gonna be in dreamland. GMW? Welcome, I hope you're doing good. What does GMW mean? Oh, Grand Wizard Man. Huh? Huh? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh. I swear, I'm gonna... I'm gonna end up having dreams. Why didn't that connect? Anyway. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm gonna have dreams about this. And like in the dreams, it's just gonna be me trying out different strategies to beat him effectively. Are you Grand Wizard Man? Unfortunately, no. I'm just getting fucked. You know, maybe, maybe going for a sorcerer build might. Huh? What the hell? Maybe a sorcerer build might actually help with this. Nah, it won't. It won't. Lightning needs to work, and I don't have a faith build. You don't know what... Unfortunately, no, I don't. Oh, that, why didn't that do the damage I wanted it to do? Plus, my brain is so focused on this fight and being stressed over it. Come on. There we go. Face two. He's the leader of the KKK. Ah, okay. Grand Wizard. Oh, it's like in the... It's like Templars in Assassin's Creed. 
Uh-huh. Please don't stab me. Ow. Alright, nameless king. Oh, why do you have to be so cool? Uh-huh. That was my fault for the late dodge. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> he really thrusted that shit into the back. Oh, he hit me with power. Oh. <laughs> okay, you know what? Those are my two attempts that I said I was going to do. I'm going to end the live stream there. Tomorrow, I'm going to attempt him one more time. I don't even say one more time. I'm going to attempt him until I beat him. It's him. Let's see. What are the bosses again that I'm missing? So it's the Nameless King. Sure. Then it is... The Old Demon King. Great. And then it's the Soul of Cinder. The final boss of the game. Once I've beaten these three... We're done with the game. Actually, I want to try see if I can platinum the game, though. We'll see. But yeah, so... I don't even know how many attempts I've, I've done for the Nameless King. I think it's now well into the 20s. But aside from that... There's that. I'm going to end the live stream. Tomorrow, I'm going to try again. We're going to keep trying. Until I beat the game. Because that's what I do. Okay. Dark Souls. So far. Good game. Amazing game. Nameless King. My favorite boss. And that's it. I'll end the live stream there. I had fun. Hope you. Hopefully you guys had fun. That's it. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. So you can always be notified every single time I live stream. Which is every single day. Take care of yourselves. Don't forget to drink water. Be ever wonderful. And I will see you all in tomorrow's stream. Well, it's not going to be tomorrow. It's going to be later on today for me. But yeah. Peace, y'all. Whew. Damn.